No, we're in the building right now. We are locked in. Shout out to everybody in the chat right now. Right now, dude. Here we go. Let's go. Three, two, one. Dímelo, mi gente. We're here at Grails Winwood. The MMA Hangout is live. Brought to you by Cuervo. Oh. That's right, baby. Let's do un brindis aquí yes, para la gente. For the haters. A little bit, a little bit of, a little bit of Cuervo in the building, tradicional, cristalino. That's what we like to do around here. A little. Ah. Oh. And guess what? Guess what, Lewis? Not only are we here in the Cuervo corner, by the way. Right here in the building. If you see us looking this way, guys, it's because the computer that's running the stream is right here. Not so. only that, Stephen Wonderboy, po Wonderboy right Thompson is right there. Welterweight contender. Uh, he's going to be joining us on the show, hopefully in a little bit. We've got Kenny Florian from the Anakin Florian podcast on DraftKings Network. He'll be joining us shortly. I have questions for him. We have None questions for everybody. Lighting. It has to do all with Ray Longo. Ray Longo. Yeah, I, I figured. Questions. I figured. But the reason we wanted to go live is because we're going to the fights. So we're going live a little bit earlier uh, than we usually do. We're not going to be going live from the fights. So we're going to be doing a preview of the fights right now. Correct. Also watching the prelims. Lewis and I are going to go from 7 to about 8.30ish, then head over to the fights. You can catch us on social. Um, doing the rest of content throughout yes. social. But right now, I am, Lewis, I am so excited because right now, Brother. over the shoulder right here, over the camera, go turn on the prelims on ESPN Plus right now. Robertista España, the Cuban assassin, the big boy, is about to fight Josh Parisian right now. 6'7", 260 pounds. His UFC debut is happening in mere seconds. Minus 350 favorite, Robertista España has the last three fights Total 19 seconds. Total 19 seconds. He's Three fights, 19 seconds. He's not not each of them. I love that. All of them. Fighting out of Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Florida, 407 stand up. Not um, Miami, not a city in Cuba, but we'll take it. Orlando, O-Town, O-Town stand, o -town up. stand up. Um, guys, thank you for watching. We are so locked in right now. We're UFC super, 299 is underway. I called Tony this morning at 11 in the morning, and I'm like, brother, I am locked in. Shout out to our boy. Why don't you give him a shout out to our boy, Davis? I always forget his last Dave, name. Davis Clark? Davis Clark, dude. Keeps us locked in at the Locked Keeps In Factory. Keeps us locked in. At the, yes, he is the warden, the owner. Shout out to our boy over there, uh, over there being the Locked In Factory. I woke up this morning, I called Tony, I was like, brother, I'm doing a double shift today at the Locked In Factory. I love that. Brother, we are locked in. We're going to watch our boy. Roelis right, is, 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 is angling right now. They already started the he fight. He wants it. He wants the kick. Oh, oh my God. Big right hand wow. to start. Oh, my God. He's, he's throwing. Guys, oh. you Oh, he fell. Oh. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, great. no biggie, great. no. Oh, oh, oh my God, oh. he's done. Oh my God, it's over. 17 seconds, it's over. 17 seconds, it's over. Oh yeah, Kuwa, cool, stand up. Stand up. I can't stand up. I don't I even can't. know if I'm out of the shot right now. Am I? You see, you're in the shot, brother. Okay. I mean, I'm in the shot A I'm 16 second knockout, Roeli de Pañe, the big boy. I gotta text 16 the boys. seconds. 16 seconds. The big boy. Oh my God, I'm, guys! I'm literally this is huge. This is huge for I'm, the culture. I'm, yeah, like, this is huge for the culture right now. Hey, let me tell you. How Big head kick. He right falls. Yeah, yeah, he he falls. falls from the high head kick. It's that. It, it Catches was, him with three punches. That, Oof! That's see one. ya. That's the one. Folded him like a cheap Doesn't suit. Doesn't want it. Doesn't want it. Look, he's had one more. Hammer thing. fist. Said, they please. had to push him off. They had to push him off. He said, "No more, please." Guys, guys, wow! What an electric opening start for Roelis España. Texting Taylor and Chris Cody right now. No, the, the team the team is so up right now. We are about to have an absolutely lit 299. Cynthia, Rose, John Reed, everybody who's helping us on the production side uh, is amazed. They didn't realize how quickly this finished. They turned they turned over, they looked at us, then they turned back, the fight was over. <laughs> de España, de España, lo despingo. Lo despingo, a big boy. Sorry, oh my gosh, guys, this is huge. This is so huge. Shout out to our production staff who made this happen, by the way. Cynthia working hard at all angles with Cuervo, with Grails. They made it happen. We love you guys. Thank you so much for Big doing what you that. do. Big shout out to Sorry, I'm back being locked in. I had to Roeli's got the Cuban flag yeah, draped, dude. Uh, where, where are Cuba? Is he from? Cuban flag draped on Roeli. Santiago de Cuba. Santiago stand up. It's a big city in our homeland, our motherland. Bruce Bruce Buffer is bringing him to the middle of the, uh, of the octagon. He doesn't know. He, you know. As he, is so, he is so big. He is such a massive human. The, I can't even call him Frosted Tips. It's just a, He's got the Cisco going. The the, he's got the, the Platinum Blonde. Let me see that <laughs> The wrong song. Shout out to Yeti Blanc. Ah, guys, this Tradicional Cristalino yes. is Slapping. crazy good Slapping. right now. Go pick well, up some Cuervo for the fight, by the way. Please. 
Sorry, guys. By the way, I've I've been in I've been in contact for those of you in the chat right now. I've been in contact with Roelis's agent. Oh. His representation. Uh, you did tell me this. He said that they weren't doing any any uh, interviews pre-fight. That they were locked in in camp. But hopefully after the fight we can do an all Spanish interview with Roelis de España from the studio. From wherever from we might pull wherever. up, we might pull up somewhere in Little Havana. Who knows? It we might know, be at Domino I'll, Park. We'll do. We we have the capacity. Second fastest win for a debut debuting. Wow. What was it? The eighteen Cubans seconds coming out of me. Debuting heavyweight in eighteen seconds. Guys, uh, oh my gosh, this is huge. This is going to be such a great a great night. Not only that, I've also got him locked in on a bunch of parlays too. So does Taylor. Taylor Thank just you. texted us. Yeah, let me let me check in on on the app ski real quick because the boys are. Brother, the boys you, are flying you high. You are cooking right there. I am. <laughs> I got a lot of things happening right now. <laughs> There's a lot to be cooked right now. We're talking about live nine live bets for the boy. Yeah, hold up, hold up. Shout out to the DraftKings family. Talk, talk, so I can log talk, into talk. my. Talk, talk. He wants me to filibuster. Here I am filibustering. Uh, yeah, dude. So we're pretty locked in. It's the ninth time that we say that. I'm trying to get my email up. There's a lot of research on this <laughs> screen happening. Two man show increased to five man show. Again, shout out to John Reed. Cynthia before, uh, before, behind the camera, excuse me, Rose is behind the camera. Guys, I think it's done without Rose or John Reed uh, when their minds are to it. All right, here we go. Robelli de España had him in a, in a massive parlay. That we're ma a we're working on, a t it's a $10 parlay to win 555 bucks. That's okay. what we do here. That's what we do here. Robelli de España, first leg of that parlay. For all of you watching at home, lock in right now on DraftKings. Okay, DraftKings Sportsbook, lock in. We've got Robelli de España, which was a minus 350 favorite. It is what it is. It's already done. You could have locked it in. That was free money. We have Matush Gamrot next up on our on our parlay. After that, we've got Macy Barber, the future, locked in. We've got Pyotr Jan and Song Yadon to go the distance. Okay, not not we're not picking a winner here. We're going to the distance. Song Yadon and Killing out of China. And and Pyotr Jan. After that, we've got JDM, Jack Della Madalena by decision. He's fighting Gilbert Burns tonight in the main in the uh on the main card. I have thoughts on that, but go on. I know JDM, an excellent boxer. I think Gil uh, Durinho Burns is going to be fighting his ass off. He hasn't fought in almost a year. Coming off of injuries, looks to be back. This is going to be a really good, uh, really good sparring match. We've got Kevin Holland. Main, main event. You know, in the main, uh, in the main card, we got Kevin Holland versus MVP Michael Venom Page. We got Kevin Holland as the winner there. Our boy Kevin Holland. By Kevin the way. Holland. That's right, the Trailblazer. After that, we've got Benoit Saint Denis. The Frenchman. Hey, we saw the four as guys the, in the winner. Berets. That's right. The four guys in the berets talking only French was crazy. They were locked in on, on, on Benny. In. So we've got uh, Benny uh, Benoit Saint Denis minus two twenty. We've got him at the winner over Dustin Poirier in the co-main event five rounder. I like it for the God of I War. Like what we have there. And then we've got Sean O'Malley by decision, by decision, and I'm going to tell you why. Cheeto Vera, monster. Not only has he never been knocked out in the UFC. He's never been knocked down. Think I about what I just said. Yeah, it's... We just saw three knockdowns in the last 30 seconds. I almost got knocked down by the chair right <laughs> yeah, You almost got knocked down by, by sitting here. <laughs> by Cheeto has never been knocked down in the UFC. So, the way I see this fight going, Cheeto notoriously slow started, right? We've got notorious fast starter in Sean O'Malley. Yeah. The way I see this fight going is, unless Sean exhausts his gas tank in a big title fight, he just... Emotions get the best of him. His tank isn't there, and Cheeto plants him. Unless that happens, I see this fight going to decision, and I see O'Malley coming out as the victor. That's that's what I feel right now. That's why I'm going O'Malley by decision because he's a minus 300 favorite. I don't know what it is right now on DraftKings. Minus 270 last time I saw him, but so, that's a lot of money to put down. I mean, my my notes are: you got a guy who's 411. His only loss was against Cheeto Vera. I think he kind of wants to come back and make sure that that's not the only loss that hangs over his head. I find it hard that he's going to allow two losses from Cheeto. But on the other hand, we I, I saw the, the, the Cheeto Vera uh, promo fight video, and it's hard not to root for he's the guy. He's a beast. He's a beast. He's an animal. You have a guy who, again, I know I know Sean O'Malley is also a father, but someone, his story coming from Ecuador, coming for just Lisa, a, Dude, tell, tell the people how, because we walked by the Caseo Center to get our credentials and stuff. Tell Ecuador the people how many the people, building. how many people with Ecuador flags, Ecuador jerseys, how much? How many people were there in the front of the Casey Center? I mean, listen. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll say it this way: I saw the pre, the the face-off against him and Sean O'Malley, and you can see that it's a guy who 
it's just two different dispositions, two different human beings, but both fighting for the same thing. Both fathers. I like to I like to highlight that part. Being a father of three, I know that uh, in, in his video. He's talking about when he came over from Ecuador fighting just for a paycheck to pay for his daughter's uh, surgery. Yeah. Sure enough, we know the, the legend of Chido Vera. Um, but we do have a little bit of, a, of an older fighter. We have a Sean O'Malley who right now is cooking, dude. He's yeah. He's and he's on a best band made in the world right now. I mean, it's in, he's, it's he's held back. I, I don't think I don't think that he allows two losses on his record. The only to two the being same to guy. him, right? But if there's every ever a storyline. Is that Cheeto Vera is the only guy to beat Sean O'Malley twice? Can you imagine? It's also an electric storyline. Can you imagine Cheeto Vera knocking out Sean O'Malley to win the gold, the bantamweight gold, with thousands of Ecuadorians in the crowd? So thousands. Yeah, that, that, I forgot that you did. Th you did throw to that that visual that I had. There was a lot of Ecuadorian flags. That Ecuador's in the building. Let's just put it that way. In the Caseya Center. Obviously, we're in Miami. Uh, UFC 299. Thank you again. Presented by Cuervo. That's right. Oh, I thought you had a lot. No, no, no. I, I thought you were going to keep going. No, no, you you I had was a fun. I was, I was rolling. We were cooking. We were cooking. Um, but yeah, dude, it, it, it's exciting to see it. And we always love, you know, when when we have the Hispanic showing yeah, up. Contingency, we have, yeah. We, we, we love to, to support that. But tonight on the card, we do have Sean O'Malley. Yeah, we do, we do, we do. Because we got him on the parlor. As much as we love to stand up and rep, we are not dummies. And Sean O'Malley is a monster. And again, I don't think he takes two losses here from Vera. And I see him just, I'm, I'm on par with that. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm scared about the decision. I think there's a knockout somewhere there. I think someone gets clocked. It's just, man, the only knockout that, that feasibly could happen is, is Cheeto knocking out O'Malley. Yeah, because, true. first off, O'Malley hasn't been knocked out like that, right? Neither has Cheeto. As we said, he's never been knocked down. So when you look at these two fighters, to me, it only makes sense that it goes to this. And, it go and again, this could be completely wrong. Yeah. And then at the end of the night, we could be like, wow, we were so wrong. O'Malley flattened him in three minutes. Or Cheeto landed a punch that sent O'Malley's head up into the uptown with Uptown Dale. <laughs> Anything could happen. So especially last night, right, we had Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou That's in right. Saudi Arabia. That's right. Which And I had, had, I had not only Anthony by decision, I had not only Anthony getting knocked down and still winning, I had 14 bets on, yeah. right? Shout out to DraftKings Sportsbook. And he flattens Francis Ngannou. Yeah. Flattens him. Yeah. Not once, not twice, three times until he was knocked out cold on the canvas in front of the prince, um, in front of entire no. Saudi Arabia. Right. He was flattened on the floor, just laid out. Yeah. And it was five minutes of him sitting there. So I've been completely wrong before, as uh, we already know. I mean... As we, know. As we already know. We, I mean, I mean it's it it UFC. Someone throws a kick. Throws a, uh, I mean, Leon Edwards in New York. That was insane. Right. We Leon, when, Leon, when Leon head kicked Kamar Usman with a minute and a half left or whatever it was, it was it was crazy. It was crazy. And we've seen so many Hail Marys land where anything can happen, man. That's, that's what I love about this sport and combat sports in general. Like last night, Francis Ngannou, everybody wants Francis Ngannou to be that guy, right? And Anthony Joshua has had some weird losses, has had some fights where it's been like, ah, he's not that good, like he's not that locked in. And then last night, Anthony Joshua just comes in and steamrolls Francis Ngannou, who was arguably almost beating Tyson Fury shout in their Rose. boxing match. <laughs> shout out to Rose for dropping a mic. Oh, we got Quite two. Literally, I'm, go I'm switching off. Oh, we're apparently switching mics. This mic is not too. It's not too hot. But okay. It's a little better. Apparently. Okay. So we go. Let's go ahead and mute it. It's gone. Are oh, we good? All right. Perfect. So Michelle Pireda is fighting right now um, against Michael O. His last name is very hard to pronounce. And when you see it, you're gonna know why I said Michael right, O. I haven't seen it yet, but we're about to see it. We had Pereira and two of his uh, accomplices dance for him right before he yeah, came I out, saw that. which is interesting <laughs> choice. But I love it because it's electric. And when uh, when we talk to Kenny Floor and we talk to uh, to Wonder Boy right now, um, there's a lot of questions that I want to ask him. But the walkout to me is so fascinating because when you look at those 30 seconds. 40 seconds, whatever it ends up yeah. being, right? A minute walk, a minute, a minute and a walk. Let's walk, say yeah. from the from the locker room. The nerves that you must feel, the excitement that you must feel, the you know, just the feeling of like being so dialed in is such a is such a adrenaline filled feeling for me that so few people get to actually yeah. feel what that feels like. Yeah. And when you get somebody that actually has done it before, like I need to extract whatever that. That Michael O, yeah, it's is. gonna stay Michael Olex O there, uh, and right, for sure you're saying it wrong. <laughs> yeah. From Poland, like it's, it's over. It's a tough, it's we're a cooked, tough last name. We're cooked here. Uh, yeah, no, back to your point. Like I was, 
I went to go use a bathroom beer and I was, you know, ripping the piss and I was even getting nervous about this. So I was like, bro, who the hell wants to fight? <laughs> they who do. wants to fight, bro? They do. They do. I like, I, I remember uh, 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 Triple G's kind of talking about how he hated fighting. He goes, right. bro, every time I would walk out, I absolutely detested and I was, I, I don't think he used the word scared, but he was like, yeah, you're nervous. I think, no, no, but I, I think scared is an okay word, right? Because there's nerves, but but you can also be scared walking into that ring. But the yeah. moment that the, the, the cage closes behind you, you have to flip that switch. And I yeah. think that's what separates the guys who do this recreationally <laughs> and then for money. <laughs> when you do this for money, you're a trained killer, right? That's yeah, what you yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your you body this, is a weapon. Your your hands are a weapon. Your and legs are a weapon. Land. Hey, yo. Pause. That was crazy. But when you have trained killers going in, it must be a different mindset where they just they just lock in. They're like, you know what? Like this is what I do. It's like it's office. like for us, like going into work and yeah. creating a show, doing a live show like this. It's like, all right, this is this is it. And there a, are nerves, right? Like yeah. you feel nerves when you start. I'm nervous up. right now. <laughs> I'm nervous as hell <laughs> right now. Why? No, I'm just. We've done so many of these. This is like this is second nature now. No, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pretty locked in right here. I'm nervous because I can't see behind the lights. Right? It's really bright so, and it's yeah, just, pitch black, but there's yeah. mad people staring. But you know that's what it is, baby. Matt, this, this is showbiz, baby. Matt, Matt is a little bit of an overstatement there, but we're here live from Grails in Miami, Florida. Shout out to Cuervo. Thank you to Cuervo for sponsoring the event. Uh, of course, we're ooh, ooh uh, that big shot, Michelle that, Pereira. That's another, oh, that hurt him too. Man, but I just kicked him in the ribs, bro, for no reason. I also have a little prelim parlay that I need okay, to I like uh, that. that we need to finish. Hey, out by the here, way, huh? shout out to the—they're not a part of what we do here, but one of the sponsors on the UFC, like the the top of the you know that little like the fence. Uh huh. Riz, the Riz Pharma, Riz Pharma yeah. dude. The Riz doctor, dude. Come take an appointment, dude. I'll see you guys. Wow, you're you're giving people. I'm the yeah. Riz of Oz, okay. bro. Come All on. right, I'll, okay. I'll show you some like tips, that. bro. Married with three kids. You gotta have a little riz. I'm trying to find. Sauce, I'm trying you know to find saying? my uh, my live parlay, my premium so, parlay. So if, again, like I said, guys, I wish my computer was in front of me. Oh, so my, Michel Paredes. Oh, he just got, got him, him in a rear name. He got him. He's it's in. low. He's real it's low. low. Let's see. Uh, he's turning. Yeah, bro. There's he's no, sleep. Yeah, yeah, he's sleep. He's, he's sleep. He's sleep. sleep. All right, Michel Pereira. Um, that was quick. We've got two knockouts. We, we got love, two fights. We love quick. Two fights. Two knockouts. They that just keep it moving, right? If it's quick, they just keep it moving, or they—I like, mean, ah, they stagger. They gotta have to stagger a little bit. There's a little bit of song and dance. They, there's little a little, forum. yeah, because you can't have the main the main card. You have seven straight knockouts, and I the main would, card starts would, at eight o'clock. Sean O'Malley <laughs> at nine fifty-two, and yeah, I right, exactly, electric, dude. I would love that. Be home, and I just bought new pillows, new uh, king size pillows with memory foam in it. Bro, I've been using the same pillow since before I got married. I got new pillows. I think that's why I'm electric today, dude. I slept. You slept? You actually slept? I just slept different. Here's that leg kick from Pereira. Oh, right in the liver. And you know how we love those liver shots. Speaking of liver shots, brindas, little brindis. Every time we say a, a liver shot, no cheese. Oof, yeah. He, let's see. He dropped him. Hit him, with, hit him with a rib kick. Got him with a nice no, knee. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, this guy was shook. This guy was like, let me get out of here. Another body. He's like, let me get out of here. He had him low on the rear naked too. That was it was and standing up. He was standing up. He's like there. He's just coming down on him. Michel Pajeda. Quick little dub. Wow. Okay. Well, three. We're like four fights in. We are flying right Shout now. Shout out to Thomas Darrow, TD, the Big Show. Uh, thank you, love. Thank you for the love. Is what I meant to thank say. You thank you, love. Thank you, love. Hey, maybe we are intimate that way. Who knows? Hmm. Bro, my bad for loving my friends, bro. What what's happening, bro? My bad that I support my dogs, bro. This this has been such a quick, such a quick couple of fights. Let's 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 keep it. Let's bro. If these fights end kind of quickly, maybe you know, we got a little grub in here. What's happening? Whoa, who said that? I didn't say that. <laughs> you said that. Is that is that is that Bruce only, saying that from behind the? For me, I'm only focused on Cuervo right here. That's what I'm focused on, baby. Bro, I, I have I have been for 18 minutes trying to open up the ad read. For Cuervo, so that we can say it perfectly for our sponsors. By, by the way, by the way. Okay, talk to me. I know we talk about all of our sponsors. Hey, but tonight, another night, also sponsored by the haters. Uh, we recognize that the haters are in shambles, and uh, we don't apologize because we're cooking. We are. 
pull up the chat real quick. Let's chat, see what the chat's let's talking see what's about. Buzzing over here. Let me let me do my job first and get this ad read locked okay, in. Okay, let me have it so I can read Sorry, it. Sorry, my uh, my. Oh, you want? I, it, every, brother, there's a lot of plugs plugged into that. Just give me like 30 seconds. Okay, here. no biggie. So let's preview some of the uh, some of the main card. Michelle Pereira is uh, talking to Joe Rogan right now after a very quick first round. Very swift. Uh, first round submission. Uh, Piotr Jan. I want to start there Let's because obviously young. he's the first, uh, him and Sonya Dong are the first card, or excuse me, first fight of the main card. And if you would have said that a couple of years ago, Piotr Jan altered the entire UFC and almost brought us into a parallel universe because of the knee, the illegal knee that he had on Aljamain Sterling. Which he was down. Aljo was losing Cook. the. Aljo was already losing the fight, right? Cook it was a this. Piotr Jan title holder, Aljo number one contender fighting, right, for the 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 vacant belt. Excuse me. Correct. And then you look at Aljo waiting, 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 losing the fight, and then getting to a position where he's on the ground. Piotr Jan's hitting him with uppercuts, and then. That knee came in. Knee, knees him on the ground. And for those of you that don't know, you cannot knee somebody on the ground. That is illegal. That is a DQ. So, Jan lost. Lucy in the building, by the Lucy way. Shout out to Lucy. Building. Lucy we in the building. MF in the building. Oh, my God. No Florian's way. Mike Fuentes in the, in the building. The, whole, the, whole, the team. whole crew just showed up. The whole crew is here. Mike this Fuentes is crazy. Make an appearance. We're going to get Lucy on in a second because wow. why not? She's wow. here. It's electric. Yeah, we got Florian in the building. I can't Florian. believe can't believe Kenny Florian is right Kenny here. We got Kenny Florian in the building, dude. You got to move out of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of the way. You got to get, get out of the way. way. We got to. We, we got to give DraftKings him. legend, Kenny Florian. Kenny, how you doing, Lewis from the MMA Hangout? Please, no, no, you're sitting in the middle with you're us. You're sitting in the middle, buddy. I got you. You're too. You're too big time. What's up, Antoni? You're too Good. big time to, to be sitting up in the corner by yourself, bro. Here you go, brother. You're. I mean, this hosting. I don't even know if you can hear me yet. There we go. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, flip it like, out. There we go. My voice cooking. My voice there cooking. We go. I'm going to unmute the mic. And there we go. All right. There we Kenny go. Kenny Florian in the building. <laughs> Sir, we watch Anakin Florian from our studios. Oh, wow. Every morning. Every morning when you guys are on. Dude, get out of here. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, we that's we are super good. appreciative to have you on. Check out Anakin Florian, the podcast, which is now also on video on the DraftKings Network. Yes, Alongside sir. Alongside with our show, yeah. MMA Hangout and Dan Lebertard's show. Come on. Shout out to DraftKings. We've talked to John uh, a couple of times now. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> it's terrible. John, John is one of the nicest dudes. I don't think people understand. Like, they see him, like, professionally. You see him who John really is. Can you describe John for the people that only know him professionally and see the big, the great voice, one of the GOAT broadcasters in UFC history, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, can you explain to the people who John is? Yeah, it's so interesting because I've, I've known him since the beginning, right? right? I've seen him. We both got in at the same time, and he was always working harder than anyone in the room. Yeah. Um, and so there was, he, he was definitely one of the nicest guys I had met, but... Uh, he, there was an intensity about him, like he's trying to, he's trying to prove, like something. everything, yes. everything, right? <laughs> and I think as an athlete, as a as a broadcaster, if you're trying to be the best, eh, I don't want it to sound weird, but you almost kind of need that little chip on your For shoulder sure. a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, like whatever, if it's a trust me, we would know. Or, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we would know. Trust whether me. it's a competitive edge or something of just like, eh, f you, you know, like mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. need a little bit of that. I think if if you're trying. What was that for you? Yeah. Oh gosh! Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, maybe fighting for some reason. No, but yeah, it. You know, uh, I think that uh, we find certain things, and certain things find us for mm -hmm. a reason. And uh, I, I do think that um, you know, fighting was one of those things where, uh, when I was doing jujitsu, when I was doing, uh, started to get into mixed martial arts stuff. There's a truth to it, right? You're gonna find out who you are, what yeah. you're about, and. It was one of the best ways to look in the mirror and, and improve yourself as a man and, and do something that a lot of people probably didn't think you were going to be able to do. Yeah, and when when did you start fighting? Like, was it something that you were kind of always into, right? Like, growing up, did you get into a lot of fights and said, you know what, I'm actually pretty good at this. Let me try to make a career out of it. Or, yeah, or did so, you, like a psychopath, say, I like the fight. <laughs> I like yeah, the exactly. fighting part of it. I, uh, I, I came from, you know, it was like kind of the perfect storm kind of. So my, my I come from, uh, you know, Latino parents. And then I also, like, grew up in Boston, way outside of Boston, really. 
but you know, th there's just a lot of like intensity that mm -hmm. went on all Very the time. Very heavy mix, Bostonian <laughs> and, yeah. and and Latino. Yeah, yeah that. Okay, so it was one of those things that I think um, there was always something going on. I was one of six. I okay. had uh, four brothers, yeah. so we were always so fighting, instantly fighting right there <laughs> all the time, arguing over something. And then our dad wanted us to, to learn martial art, learn how to defend ourselves. So there was like all of that, and of course, watching the first UFC was like that thing of wow, if that little skinny dude can do it, maybe I could do it. Or, or you know, fighting was, but fighting was something that I was always kind of scared of. I, I certainly was in a lot of fights growing up and stuff with my brothers and, and other people, but. Um, countless other people. Yeah. But, <laughs> but like fighting another professional fighter was something I was like, all right, this is different. Yeah. How would I do in this setting? Yeah. And that's kind of what always motivated and like pushed me to try to get better. Right? Like you fought in four different weight classes, which is absolute idiot, which has never happened before, by the way. You're, which is you're the only person to ever do it. Listen, I, <laughs> the I only the person also dumbest <laughs> to do it. Can you go with the people and tell them how what you've actually fought in? Because you fought lightweight majority. Yeah. So pr pretty, pretty crazy story. And, and a lot of people kind of forget this. But back in the day during Ultimate Fighter season one, mm -hmm. they didn't have a lightweight division. Back right. Then. They, it, the, the lightest division in the UFC was the welterweight division. Yeah. No women's divisions. That was like, mm -hmm. no. Right? So there are only a few weight classes to compete in. When I was going to do the Ultimate Fighter, they're like, hey, we'd love to have you. you got an interesting skill set, but you don't have a lot of experience, and we're going to have the show at 185 pounds. Oof, like, which is middleweight. Yeah. Like, would you want to <laughs> fight at middleweight? And my dumbass, I, you know, I'd always done jiu-jitsu in open weight classes and always went against big guys, and I won all, the majority of them, you know? So I'm like... Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, and right. what were you at at that time? Where were you walking around? At? I was probably a chubby 182. Okay, you know? so like right yeah, there. You yeah, had to actually put nice weight on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, literally. I remember Mike Swick and I were putting like Oreo cookies in our protein yeah. shakes. Oh, uh, my to God. To gain weight. It was stupid. You know, like we had no <laughs> idea. But like we would do whatever it takes to gain weight. I, I think I, I ate like breakfast and lunch in the finale before I, my, I weighed in. Yeah. Um, anyways. I yeah. was going to say some crazy shit about where I put the Orioles, but let's not go there. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. It's so, a family show. What's so, happening What's here? happening? <laughs> so I, I, I bring the fun. He's a fun guy, but I bring the stupidity to the okay. show. All right. So I have a question for you. I asked John Anik, and I kind of ask him every fucking time that he's on the show. <laughs> I go, I look at him in the eyes, and I go, do you owe Ray Lungo money? Are you good? <laughs> do you need help? Blink twice so we can talk to our partners over at DraftKings. But Ray Longo, talk to me about him, because I feel like Ray Longo is the world's bookie. Oh, my gosh. But I feel scared because say I feel the, like... Say the stories you can say, I think, is right, the most exactly. important part. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you right, guys. Right, exactly. So or he like, would. Yeah, it's or scary, because that's what yeah. the Anik told us to. Oh, oh, man. Man. oh, gosh. Yeah, so it's funny, man. Their relationship is hilarious. Areas, first of all, you know, John uh, John doesn't like New Yorkers because, of course, he's from Boston. Mm -hmm. So okay. he, he likes to kind of jab at people from that area of the country and uh, raise one of them. Um, but, you know, he John, is Long John, Island. He is. John was so smart because before we had our first podcast, you know, he's like, listen, we need to have someone we can bring on every week. That's a character. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's got to be Ray Longo. Like, I love talking to that guy. That guy's nuts. And you were like, like what? And I was like, really? I was like, yeah, I know Ray. I, I've always to say hello. But I was like, I, I kind of like it. Like, yes, let's do it. And I, I wasn't sure how we'd be on, on, yeah, on radio. Yeah. But, and he would just let it rip on our podcast. And then and it just got better and better and better. And, and uh, Ray's just, he's an awesome dude. Ray is as real as it gets. You, you're going to get you exactly see that. what yeah, his yeah. thoughts are. Um, and uh, I think that's what makes the show, and that's why people love him on our podcast. So what I'm hearing is one of you guys owed him like 250k, so that's fine, <laughs> no big deal. No big so for deal. those of you that don't know Ray Longer, if you're the first time you're checking in with us, he is in the corner for Marab. He's yes. in the corner for Aljo, and originally for Matt Sarah. Matt right? Sarah, right? But yeah, so like a lot of guys, like basically he's like uh, the Godfather of MMA in New York, you know, essentially. And He's been around since the very beginning, and, and he's Chris Weidman, you know, all mm -hmm. these guys. He's produced so How did Chris many come back? How did Chris come back from that? Yeah, uh, about the, uh, the last the leg, one. The yeah, leg, yeah, the leg was insane. Dude, just the fact that he was able to battle back from the, the break itself. Was and brutal. Then, and then the surgery yeah. before that, because it got infected mm -hmm. and all. Like, it takes an incredible amount of mental fortitude, and... Um, Chris is one of the toughest dudes out there, man. And then to see him get kicked to the leg again on the comeback and him still hanging out there and won that second round and made it a really close dog. fight. He's a dog. He's a dog, man. Um, and that's such a, com unfortunately, a very common injury. And if you don't if you don't know what we're talking about, 
Go get on a separate pa a separate page on YouTube. Look Comanche. up Chris Weidman injury. It's not you don't want to see it twice. You see it once, so you know what we're talking about. But he tried to check a kick, and then Ugh. his leg snapped. His Are you? Leg. I'm the type that like I'll feel the injury, and then I, it, it kind of like radiates to my private parts yeah. in the weirdest way. That I'm like, why do I feel that? There? Like <laughs> I feel it. Is it a good it. tingle or a bad nah, tingle? No, yeah. that seems like Crappy, a bad tingle. It's a bad, not a yeah. great tingle. No, see, see, I'm the same way. I can't look at stuff like that. I can. You know, I can look at like cuts and blood, blood right. and all that stuff. I have no problem, you know, whatever. But uh, when I see a compound fracture yeah, like that, like Connors, oh. Anderson Silva's, Corey Hills, you know, and, and it has happened quite a lot, but those compound fractures where you see the bone yeah, just dangling. Yeah, yeah, Dude, Chris took a step I, I back look, on the oh bone. My gosh. He oh took my a gosh. step back, and the bone hit the canvas, dude. dude. And I was like, oh, my God, this is insane. I can't dude, believe I, it. I, I, like, I like uh, pinched my skin with a drawer this morning. I was like, I'm out. Don't talk to me, babe, about, my wife. How about this? This is something I don't think enough people talk about. Maybe they do. but um, So all those guys who broke their leg, you never really saw them again. They mm -hmm. were kind of carted out on a stretcher, yep. of course, trying yep. to isolate the leg. Yeah. And you Conor McGregor was the only one to sit up and give an interview. interview. Joe was laying his down next to him. Was in a compound fracture. <laughs> like, how tough of a human being? Put that. Put that into perspective, Kenny. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, for, for people who don't understand, like your leg is broken, properly broken. It's dangling. Like the skin is the only thing that's holding, holding it your up. leg that together. That is terrible. <laughs> Maybe it, some muscle fibers. It's probably got cut by the stabbing of the bone, bone of yeah, the bone, correct. right? So, and then there's the shock of it, like they're like, "Oh my God, my leg's over there. It's yeah. supposed to be over here." Yeah. You know. And then there's some people who would just probably just pass out. You know, Connor's like, "No, let me sit up and let me let me talk some my shit to this guy. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's soft." It's crazy. And Joe's sitting there like, yeah, give me more. <laughs> give me insane, more. Keep going. Dude. Kind of selfish from Joe. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's got to get the interview. I mean, that's what he's there for. I, you know? I, I, I don't know if DC would have done Connor it. Connor might have called him over, dude. Yeah. You know? He's like, Joe, yeah, I want to talk to him. Come guy. on, bring him over here. Yeah. Um, when do you think we'll see Connor again? Because I know the Chandler fight is looming. We know we're trying to get what well, We met Chandler's parents. Very I, nice people. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Okay, I like that. I'm cautiously optimistic because I don't see Connor doing all of this for nothing. Because, mm -hmm. you know, talk about coming back. You know, he's doing a lot of similar things, and, and, and he doesn't need the money. Right. What is he doing? You know, I don't know. So... Or maybe he's just a promotional genius and he's promoting his, his, his new career as an actor. And, and I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, I, I think um, Connor has achieved so much, so many great things in the sport. No one has ever achieved what he's done. Yeah. If he wanted to retire, awesome. Um, so I, I think he would have announced his retirement, yeah. I think. I so think I do, so. sorry, right, I, do think, I do think he's considering it. Uh, you know, he's seriously considered coming back. I, I think he still feels he has something to prove. Is he still the biggest draw in the sport? I think he is. I, Crazy, right? Because he hasn't fought in he how many years? Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking over at Wonder Boy. I'm like, hey, maybe we could get like Wonder Boy in here with uh, <laughs> with the crew here. But uh, yeah, just to kind of like change the subject real quick. You did mention earlier your parents were Hispanic. Yeah. Where from? Uh, Peru. Oh, okay. You're Peru. So yeah. both in Peruvian. Both from Peru. Yeah. All right. Because I, I had a, uh, uh, a little realization that the three of us are Cuban linked right now. Yeah, Come on. Oh, we I got the double Cuban going. linked. I love it. I got the double going. Come yeah, on. Yeah, the, the, the double. So we're cute. We're both Cuban. Robelis Espanye. Did you see that knockout? Yeah. Dude. 17 seconds. He's a problem, man. Unbelievable. Like when you see somebody like that Huge. who is just like physically gifted. Where you walk in at 6'7", 260 pounds to a heavyweight division, heavyweight division that's kind of open, right? Because John's getting up there. Aspinall's great, but out of that, like, there's really nobody else in there that can really contend for a title. You see this guy walk in right. and do what he's done in the last five fights. Crazy. The last four fights under 40 seconds combined. Bro, so. and, it, you know, he's six, what, six, eight, six, yeah. seven? Yeah. Like, yeah. all of that, you know. And to have that level of the uh, level of athleticism, it's insane. There's a guy in the PFL called Henan Fajeda, mm -hmm. who's a very similar built, 6'9", Brazilian yeah. guy. And, like, the things that they can do, even at that height and yeah. weight, it's unbelievable. So these are the new athletes that are coming into the sport and uh, that are going to eventually gonna take over. And I think people forget, not to blow you guys up here, but people forget that little island in mm -hmm. Cuba yeah. has produced so many Olympic champions. They did it for a reason. Yeah, yeah right. A lot right? of sports. This is a yeah. lot of sports. Okay. It was like, it's like United States, Russia, China, and then Cuba. Like yeah. right after, you're like, how are they Boxing, producing? wrestling, yeah. taekwondo, the karate, judo. Sports, 
It's insane. And like, so anyways, the, these are the athletes that are coming. It's like it's crazy. Unbelievable. It's just going to get better and better. Cuba does produce a lot of like fighters. Uh, I, I had my, you'd be surprised by this, Tony, but I did judo for six years. And all my show me some moves, Cuba. dude. Let me see something. Dude, what do you mean show your moves? Where? Against who? You know I mean? Against, against Kenny. Against, yeah. Yeah. My ass. I was about to tell you, too. I was like, dude, I weigh 155 pounds. Yeah. We were interviewing Volk, and I'm like, Volk would, like, dismember me, and yeah. I weigh yeah, yeah, what yeah. he weighs. So, like, I, I, you see it on the screen, and, like, yeah. everyone scales a certain way that yeah, you can't yeah. really see their size. Right. Both ways. The yes. big guys, you don't know how, you can't notice how big they are. Yes. But some of the smaller guys in these lighter divisions, they look Bro. huge, and you see them, they're little people, but they would destroy you. Sean O'Malley, Sean O'Malley in the main event is a bantamweight, and he's five foot eleven. Yeah. He's almost six feet tall. Yeah. You're like, you know, not that he's like big dude, but like he's tall. Lanky like, dude. Lanky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. If you're 135 pounds, you're probably sitting at around average of five, five six. Seven, five, mm -hmm. six, five, seven, yeah. And now you got to get to a dude who's five eleven, who also knows how to use it. Right. And that's that's tough. Yeah. yeah. Can we talk about that main event for a second? Because it's it's really intriguing from a couple different perspectives, right? Obviously, O'Malley's only loss is Cheeto. Cheeto coming off of a uh, not great performance against Corey a couple of months ago. And you're looking at, are we going to get the Cheeto that we've seen recently? Are we going to get the slow starter Cheeto, which is kind of naturally his chess move, right? It's let me see where we're at, let me measure, let me play chess, and then attack after that. What are we going to see in this main event? Yeah, well, you hit on a lot of the most important parts of the fight, I feel. And I think um, what always, what's always going to hurt Cheeto, unfortunately, is footwork. And if you don't have the footwork to get on the inside against someone like a Sean O'Malley, who possesses a lot of excellent, sharp, long-range weapons. How do you get on the inside of that? So, you know, he, he's always suffered. And I think that's where he suffered in the fight against Sanhagen. And you have yeah. another guy, 5'11", mm -hmm. yeah. moves oh, extremely yeah. Yeah. Awkward, well. Right? Awkward, Couldn't get to him. Uh, Cheeto had a good finish to the fight, but it, it takes him a little while to both wear down his opponent. He needs that. Mm -hmm. So it, it's great that it's five rounds. Yeah. Yeah. And he also needs... Um, to, to get on it with his timing, and that can take him a long time because of his kind of lack of footwork. He's a very dangerous guy. The other thing that concerns me, although he won that last fight, um, O'Malley was kind of like mm -hmm. taking care of business yeah. there, and that was a long time ago. Both fighters are different fighters, I think, since sure. then, but I kind of see it playing itself out without the kick happening, I think, so I don't know. When, when you look at O'Malley and what he's able to do against Aljo, where Aljo kind of punched he slipped and then the length of just the length, catching him clear length yeah. and then aljo was done it's almost like what we've never seen not only cheeto never get knocked out he's never been knocked down and it's like as, as, in the ring you've been there you fought the baddest of the baddest to never get knocked down like put that in the perspective for people it's um it's extremely impressive um v very few people possess the defensive awareness uh, or, and or the durability. Mm -hmm. um, what you're getting hit by another professional adult male <laughs> hard. who's trying hard. to hurt you like, hard. Hurt you. you know, and and if you cannot, you know, uh, get knocked down from one of those shots, let alone thousands of shots, you're something. I what mean, what other fight in the uh, in the main card are you like pinpointing being like this is the one? Is it the co-main? Coleman is just a fucking war. Gosh, dude. Yeah. I mean, listen, there's so many. I I actually... This is a great card honest, top to bottom, dude. If I'm being honest, I like this card better than UFC 300. I 100% okay? agree with I, you. I, I think I the really smart, smart, smart MMA all, people are saying that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Smart MMA people <laughs> yeah. are saying that, okay? <laughs> and we have it on the record now. There we go. It's been confirmed. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, let, let's talk about that one, because that one's really intriguing to me. Uh, Dustin Poirier is an absolute dog. Mm -hmm. And I think the best sign that I heard out of that camp or that build-up to this fight was the fact that he wanted five rounds because he felt that the better fighter should be able to win over the course of five rounds. Yep. To me, it shows, or it gets me to believe that he thinks he's the more technical fighter, right? Obviously. Yeah, that he can last longer. But he, that he can last longer. And that he feel if he's gonna get, uh, if he's gonna fight someone like um, uh, Benoit Saint Denis, who has a lot of hype behind him, 
I think it serves him well to fight him now. Yeah. Yeah. Before later. It's correct. like he's correct. got all the experience. Yeah, correct. He, he believes he's the more technical fighter. He's been through the wars. Benoit has been through a war. Mm -hmm. a, um, a war, right? Well, like we were that, the first that. one at 170. Yeah. yeah, we were just noticing. Uh, we, we were noting that before the show that we were like, he's 13 and now, 1, but now, are there any major, major names on his wins? Right. Exactly. And that's the other thing, right? That's the big, that's, that's really the intelligent uh, conversation, I think, in a lot of ways. Doesn't mean he's not good. Correct. It correct. just means that he hasn't proven himself Correct. against the same elite competition that Dustin Poirier Correct. Has, right? And the other thing, too, is this is a big fight for Dustin, taking somebody who's oh that gosh. far in the rankings. Because obviously Dustin's in line to fight for the belt at some point, right? You've only got a couple of names in front of him that would fight for that belt. Obviously, Islam is a beast. We saw what he did to Volk with that leg kick. Like, Islam's not going anywhere. But for Dustin to take maybe a fight or two where he can get to that level and fight for, for a belt, and then fighting a guy like that who nobody wants to fight in the top five, it takes a lot of nuts to do that. I, I couldn't agree more. I think it, show, it, it shows who Dustin Poirier is, and at this stage of the career, what, uh, what he wants to prove to himself and everybody of like, you know, F you. I'm, you're, you're the dude who everyone's for kind of afraid of. Perfect. Let's go. Let's, go. Let's do this. Let's actually make it five rounds. How's that? Would you like that? You know, so to me, it shows that. And, and honestly, at the weigh-in, that's the best I've seen Dustin Poirier look in many years. Yeah. yeah. I actually, he looked unbelievable. Not to say that means every, but to me, it just seems like he's dialed in. And I also think he wants to right that wrong of him getting knocked out by Gaethje in that last fight. I think he feels that, like, maybe he didn't bring everything. And maybe he yeah. wants to bring a little more to prove himself. Because I... Here's another thing. Dustin Poirier does not need any more money, guys. Right, right, yeah, right. He's good. He's just fine. Yeah, uh, correct. You know, so anyways, so I think it says a lot about Dustin. So that's that's why I went the route of Dustin. Now, here, if I'm being honest, this is how Benoit wins this fight. He gets Dustin up against the cage, mm -hmm. and he double legs him repeatedly over the course of five rounds. Exactly. That's how he does it. Or he... Or Dustin gives his back because Dustin has a propensity of giving up his back. Mm -hmm. If Chandler had better submissions, he would have finished that yeah. fight. I was I was there in the building at MSG yes. when it happened. And, and Dustin and Dustin, if a, Dustin, please, if you're listening to this, just defend your neck a little bit more. Yeah, please. He, he would turn protect your neck. Extend. Yes, turn into it. He would turn and extend, and I'm like, crazy. Dude, that's that's, a that's open exactly game. How he's gonna get it? <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, uh, so that surprised me. So I'm worried about that. Or Ben Wong does has such a great start that he beats up. Dustin repeatedly where it's like now conditioning isn't even a factor. Mm -hmm. You're just so beat up by Benoit yeah. that you get finished now. Yeah. Yeah. Because Dustin is very good when he gets on top. He's not great when he's on bottom. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. When when you have an, an older fighter like that, and obviously we just saw with Volk, right? Came back, came back quick from a brutal knockout and then fights Ilya who's just on another level right now. We, we can talk about Ilya later. But an older fighter coming off a knockout, obviously there's been more time between Dustin and what Volk fought. Yeah. But coming off of a knockout like that at this age, are you worried about that at all? Or do you think it was just kind of a fluke thing? Gaethje hit him with a perfect kick and it was kind of it. Yeah, I, that's definitely a concern. I, I think that Dustin has fought through a, a lot of wars. There's no question about that. This is going to be, what, his 30th fight in, in the, the UFC. UFC. Crazy. Yeah. And he's been fighting since Pull he was a little teenager. How many did you have? I had like 17. Like 30. Double it. Yeah, and, and I think actually maybe even 17 total. So not even that. So anyways, uh, I, I don't remember. But anyway, it's something around there. Okay. But Dustin, 30 pro fights. Crazy. And listen. I, I'm, I'm, I had a different style. I, I, I was, you know, I tried to not get hit. Dustin will stand and bang. Yeah, and and how yeah. many times has he done that? Oh, yeah. So that takes its toll on you. You know, like even the, you know, the Francis and Ganu knockout. I'm concerned that for him. That was brutal. You know, like the, there's certain fights, there's certain sh strikes that you eat. And you're never the same after mm -hmm. them. Like, that's a reality. People, people think that's a, like a hyperbole. That, that is a fact. Like, so... You know, back-to-back -back knockouts now. Well, first of all, what does that do to your to your the physical uh, part of your body? But what does that do to the mental side mm -hmm. of your body as well? Now that you're like, oh no, I'm I'm definitely human. Right, like now, it can I happen I, now. I yeah, it's I catching up. Yeah. For a little bit, Correct. I thought I was like immune, like I was Correct. invincible. Because when you're on top, that's that's the um, that's the thing you got to be careful with. If there's someone who didn't suffer from that, it's probably Volkanovski. Yeah. But or Habib. So, or, Habib, yeah. Habib was just like, oh, I'm just going to take you down and yeah. dress you for five. Right. Yeah. That's, true. <laughs> That's it. That's true. But, you know, so I don't know, man. This game is so crazy. Um, I hope that's not the case for Volkanovski, but there's no question in my mind if, if I'm close to him, I'm, I'm his manager, I'm his, I'm his coach, I'm his brother, whatever, I'm telling him, dude, take, take time off. I know you're competitive. So 
the very thing that makes us strong, I also think, is, can be the very thing that makes us weak. Yeah. Correct. It's Absolutely. like our courage can be either our best friend sword. or it can kill us. Yeah, correct. That's that's crazy. Really quick, we'll get you out on this, and then you can plug yourself on the way out. Uh, what do you think? You, you mentioned it briefly. Anthony Joshua, Francis Ngannou, all of uh, a minute and a half or whatever it was, hit him with three shots. Francis was out on the, on the canvas for five minutes after that. What did you think about that? Dude, I, I was extremely concerned. Again, in my non-professional boxing opinion, I, I felt like in the first fight against Tyson Fury, he fought Tyson Fury. He used MMA against mm -hmm. Tyson Fury. And I think in this fight, he took the approach of, I'm going to box Anthony Joshua. World-class boxer. Yeah, and, and I think oftentimes we forget that that is the danger of going okay. to a specialist's game. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's like Anthony Joshua coming into the octagon yeah. and being like, oh, I'm going to fight you like I would in MMA. And then right. Fran's like, oh, perfect. Here, let's do this. Boom. Yeah, LeBron James Here's is a, a great basketball pretzel. player. He's not going to be the best handball player in the world. It's similar. They both right. have, He might you know, be a great tight end, though. Yeah, he might. He I might. Mean, uh, but, but you yeah. know what I mean? It's just like, so we, we forget. that, and, and, oh, and that's why Francis Ogano got paid tens of millions of yeah. dollars to 20, that fight, right? 20 Absolutely. mil. To be exact. And, and he deserves not it. Not pocket watching, but yeah. to be exact. Anthony got 50. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Damn. For a, a great night. night at the office. Yeah, so I hope Francis is going to be okay. I, I think, you know, um, Francis is as tough and as, as courageous as it gets. Yeah. He will bounce back from this. No question about it. But that's one of those you got to take time off after. Those were those were three extremely hard right hands. Mm -hmm. that would have One of them would have knocked out most men walking the planet. Francis ate three of those in one night in the span of five minutes crazy. This is insane insane kenny thank you for hanging out dude you are the man we appreciate you go thank check you out so anik and florian so podcast the youtube channel on dkn the podcast everything it runs every morning on dkn at eight in the morning because <laughs> that's what we're watching at the studio kenny appreciate you dude thank you man thank, thank you sir let's get you out of here guys you heard it from a legend kenny florian in the building we appreciate him so much no no you killed it we got to have you on again Kenny Florin, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Kudalaba versus Linz right now is the uh, is the bout du jour that's happening right now. Round two, uh, about 350 left in that one. Um, presented by Jose Cuervo, of course. The MMA Hangout is here live at Grails in Wynwood. The, uh, the building is starting to get packed now. Uh, not only here at Grails, but also uh, at the Kaseya Center where now we are getting into the meat of the uh, of the prelims here. I think you... Ah, there we there go. go. All right, there it's you go. one of these. I think this is the better there one. There we go. Okay. Here we go. We were pretty locked in. I didn't hear anything you said, but I'm sure it was something about our I was just set, you know, I was just setting setting up the stage for everybody. I've been That's playing a little doing. game. Okay. I've been playing a little game by myself. Okay. Every time I see a liver shot, take a little... There the we go. Corvo. Mm. Lucy in the building, Juju Gotti in the building as well. Juju Gotti's in the building. Wait a second. Juju Gotti's in the building. Mike Bring up. Fuentes in the building. It's at, it's you know what? Hey, Danny Danny B. Stunt Dan is also in the Stunt building. Stunt Danny, I can't see, bro. So so see. I'm gonna I'm gonna paint the picture for everybody. So obviously we're here against this beautiful seven feet in the Cuervo corner, by the way. This is where we do our stuff. Thank you to Cuervo, by the way, for supporting everything we do here at the MMA Hangout. But on the other side of the uh of no, the situation here, of the, situation. of the camera. We've got a massive light right here. We've got a massive light right there. So anything behind that, I don't know if you've ever stood in front of a very bright light. <laughs> All the other lights, yes, I have stood in front of a bright you, light. I'm you standing cannot in front of one see now. shit. And nothing. So yeah. we're looking across the spectrum here. There is nothing but the I want Lucy, Lucy. though. I would love if Lucy, if she came around and she came on. Yeah, that'd be okay. great. I'd right. love that. She I don't want to yeah. put people in a position of I like, put Lucy hey, I want to, you know, I don't want to talk MMA. I, I don't know anything. Like, I don't want to put people in a bad spot. But I, I we don't have Lucy to talk. I want to put Lucy in a bad spot. I want to put Lucy in a bad spot because she made the time You to want come to or here. you don't want to? No, I won't be in a bad spot. I got her. I got her. Loose. Here, let's move this over here. Loose. Let's move this. Loose right. is in the building. Let's move that right there. Boom, so there's can... your headset. Oh, and a yawn, too. She was bored. Scoot over to your left. Scoot over to my left. That's we're getting. Yeah, for sure. There she is. And here's your microphone. Lucy, your first time in the MMA Hangout. How do you feel? The lights are so, Isn't so it bright, horrible? right? Right. Oh, my God. We people thought that it was a hyperbole of us saying that the light was bright. It is not. I don't even know what that word means, and I agree. Uh, Kenny said it. I don't know. There we go. Hold on. Wow. Um, 
it's very dark over there, I, and then it's very bright over here. So we're actually kind of already used to lights. Yeah, I, I feel like Jesus is about to like, right? come back. And, and wow. Okay. That, would, that would be... Hopefully not be before a, the main card, though. Not yeah, before the main card. Tell him to chill. I mean, at some point, you know, it'd be great. But you know. hang, us, hang out with us for a little bit. We'll actually have him on the show, but we need to watch we the main card first. We wanted to show you some love because you came out. Yes. And usually when some, when, when some of the homies and, and homegirls come out, we like to give... John Reed's telling me to speak louder. And this is... Everything's dimed out to the max. I'm supposed to be in this shot, but I can't because then I'll be on top of Lucy, and she would hate that more so than she already hates this moment right now. But no, Luce, I'm happy to be here. Well, I just we, wish I could see anything. Just close your eyes. Anything. Close your eyes. Just look close at your Tony. eyes. I have blue eyes and are very sensitive. Is that, that is that? Hold on, hold on. That's true. That's is that true? true? Yes. How? Because like think of the pigmentation in her in the sure. Left okay, but how? Okay, think of like how light works. Our eyes, like my eyes, are like pitch black, dude. Like it's absorbing light. There's no refraction of the light. In her eye, it's like glass in there. So those lights. You have glass like, eyes. Yes. Two glass eyes. Yeah. How do you see? Um, with How do you drive? <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't drive. Apparently. It's Miami. You don't need a license. To that drive is here. very true. We just had almost three accidents on the way over here. We to, actually uh, did. So we did a minute. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> hear something? I saw somebody get hit by a car the other day. Really? By a car? No, no, a car. car. Oh. They did not get hurt. Okay. So it's okay. Kind of bounce back. Was it? Yeah. Was it one of those like? On the hood? It was, so it was actually near Grails. Thank you for having us. Yes. Um, Shout out to Grails. By the way, you're in the Cuervo corner. Yes, I love Cuervo. Thank you so much. Um, woo! Yes. She is drinking responsibly and with friends behind the camera. Tequila was my drink of choice in college. Atta girl. Um, great four years, let me tell you. So I was walking the other day, and this girl, she's like pulling up to go left, and the light turns red, so she can't like turn left, but she's like deep in the intersection. Mm -hmm. So me and this group of high school kids were like crossing, and she's pretty much in the pedestrian way. Mm -hmm. So she backs up and not realizing that the group of kids walked behind right there. her, and I walked in front of the car, and she just backed right into this person. No. Like, right into her. So she was like, whoa, hey, what's going on? The girl had her windows down while this happened, too. So like the high school kid just like keeps going, like, oh my god, you just hit me with your car. She's like, sorry. What happened to backup cams? It was crazy. Don't we still have those? Not every car has it. We need to make backup cams like. I think it's standard a thing. issue now. I yeah. think like every car has backup cams now. I have a backup cam. I couldn't parallel park without it. I can't parallel park. With there's it either, there's so many. I, there's I parallel par uh, parked a truck today. Not a boy. A big F one fifty. In a tight spot too. Yeah, you're right about with that. No, with no oh with no rear end camera, and it was nice. It was like nice. It was good. It you was, gotta take a picture next time. I, well, he saw it. So Lucy, so um, you're very on trends when it comes to social. Um, the this was the 90s or that was the 90s. What's the trend that's happening with the 90s right now? I don't actually know that. Really? Because so I've, 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 let me see if I can that find it. That is very encouraging. That right? I that I found the something, you know, yeah. just, you know. Is it just like people sharing 90s stuff? I think it's people saying enough with the 90s. I love the 90s. Yeah. What, does that, what does that mean, enough with the 90s? Like, it, it happens. I'm trying to find it, buddy. I don't know. Well, Hold on. No, we're gonna. No, me and Lucy will wait for you. We're gonna <laughs> wait for you. <laughs> this, is really, this is super good content. I'm so happy I came out. Ah, uh, hold on. Hold By the way, Iowa won today. Iowa won today. So what's the deal? Yes. Talk to us about that. So, Iowa defeated Michigan today. Beat Penn State yesterday. Iowa won both games pretty easily. Garbage time points helped Michigan out, but we would have won that game by 30. We'd be Penn State by like 30. And you know what? Huge news. Caitlin, not her best night. Wow. Not good. her best night, That's and we good. still won by 30. We still won by 30. If cool. Iowa keeps playing this way. I have questions about the Iowa team, right? Yes. And Which is surprising to, to Tony, but I'm very, not, only because of you, I'm knowing about that. I love them. What happens to the other, like, okay, the Iowa team has other players. Yes. Talk to me about their perception. Some of those coming out of the draft, or like, I mean, I guess going to be drafted by the WNBA. What happens to their value? Who are the other stars that we just don't know about because they get overshadowed by Caitlin? So they're not going to be drafted to the WNBA. The WNBA is not like the NBA in the sense where like roster cuts in the WNBA are insane. Like it's very tough to be to make it to the WNBA. People will get drafted in the first round and get cut before the season yeah, starts okay, because there's really? no roster spots. So. With Iowa, Caitlin is obviously the number one consensus overall pick. She's going to be drafted right away. That's the right choice. I don't really. See I feel like she's going to be on a team. Yes. Yeah, like she's she's not going to get cut. Yeah, she's not going to get cut. <laughs> I she's see. Be I good. see dribbling a basketball in her future. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think she's going to be all right. However, when it comes to the rest of the Iowa team, they're very good, but they aren't WNBA good. Gotcha. They're not half as 
I mean, man, like, even even in men's college basketball, even in basketball, just any level you go to, there's such a small percentage as you go from middle school to high school to college to pro, such a small percentage of them make it to each level right up the ladder. And the WNBA is probably the smallest one out of that. That's why you see so many really good college overseas, players right. going overseas. It also has to do with finances and you can make more money mm -hmm. if you play overseas in the offseason. But like this Iowa team, as much as I love all of them so much, except for one of them, and you know who you are, you need to play better. Wow, okay, hold on. Yeah. We're calling people out. Okay. The they're all really good. They're all D1 athletes, but none of them are going to make it to the W. But I think the thing that, like, I think the Iowa players are very aware of it. Like, hey, Caitlin's a star. Caitlin's probably who they're paying to see. It's like but, playing with LeBron. Yeah, it's like, with LeBron. You, it's LeBron. Like, enjoy, yeah. You move enjoy, out of the way. Enjoy this. Right. They make her so much better. We always talk about how Caitlin leads the nation in scoring. She leads the nation in assists. Like, Caitlin is... Under-talked about, by the way. Under-talked so about. So under-talked about. <laughs> Super under-talked about. everybody loves to be like, she's taking 40 shots a game. No, she's not. And she passes the ball more than anybody in the country. She makes all her teammates better. So it's like, and you, like, I followed this team since she's got there. I followed them way before she got there. And they love each other, and they care about each other, and the vibes are so high. Like, there's no animosity there, mm -hmm. because you aren't really competing with star power, because it's pretty much just Caitlin, but, like, it works really well where like she makes everyone around her a lot better and it's like kind of just falling in line right you, the alpha dog is the alpha dog and you're not going to try and compete against the greatest scorer in history and caitlin is so like she seems like a great teammate and a great friend like for her birthday she got everybody custom nights that was for her birthday yeah kind of uh, she's an angel she's an angel uh, lucy have you ever seen ufc before okay i have okay talk to me um so in college that felt like a risky question it is a risky well, question. Well, no, because you throw it up. Not, uh, not no, a lot of people. Not a lot of people watch. It's a very risky question. It's, it's, it's a very niche situation. Um, they're trying to motion me behind the camera. I think but it's, you can't see they me. want you to move that way. Everyone's mm -hmm. yelling at me. No one likes what I'm doing. I don't doing. know what it's they funny. want me to do. I think everyone's, we want to move that over here, though. I'm Where do you want to move it? That right there, yeah. Right. There. Oh, there's like a little shadow. There. Oh, oh yeah. They want you to move over, yeah. I think that's what it is. No. I mean, I can't move over. Anyways, okay. I did watch the UFC in college. I had a crush on a guy who liked the UFC, mm -hmm. so I tried to get into it. It didn't work out well. Okay. Um, with the with the guy or with the UFC? I would say both. Wow. I would okay. say both. So I went to like him and his friends were having like a UFC watch party, mm -hmm. and I baked cupcakes. That a girl. So Love that. With kind of electric. Cupcakes. Okay. Go it was on. the first time that I had ever like watched the UFC and I was the only girl there which I didn't love uh -huh. so I showed up Naturally. with all these cupcakes it's me and like seven dudes and we're all watching the UFC I am and they love the cupcakes and they did the cupcakes were great the cupcakes what were flavor really good. was it that and night that you realized that you and this guy wouldn't work out no I wish it was it, uh -huh. was, it was much later down oh the road. boy much later that's oh, not good yeah tough um, but it was vanilla cupcakes and chocolate cupcakes and I nice. actually alternated the icing on half of them so half a little variety of yeah yeah so I I really show that I, I did my part to come and be a part of this boys night UFC watch party but I don't really like blood I'm okay. like really really bad with blood okay. every time that I'm around that I, I, blood makes me nauseous it makes me queasy. how are you with like broken things like I don't, I don't dislocations like any of those okay because Kenny Florian former UFC fighter part of a, a podcast that we have on on the DraftKings network was saying that he can do blood right but he can't do fractures and dislocations and things like that I can't do any of it um, every time that I have to get my blood drawn, I pass out. Um, if I that can't people, be true. Uh, every, pass out? Yes. And let me tell you, if you're a phlebotomist out there, bedside manner makes a really big difference. I had to get my blood drawn recently, and I was like, hey, girl, it's not going to go well. And she's like, you just need to relax. I said, obviously, I'm trying to do that. You know what? You're not helping the situation <laughs> at all. You know what never relaxes people? Telling, Telling them to relax. relax. She was like, you really need to relax. And I was like, hey, like, I'm, 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 I'm also really a big time culprit of that when I tell my wife, relax yeah, yeah that's, crazy. She that's crazy she hates that sorry babe i wasn't gonna punch the phlebotomist i was so <laughs> angry and then so she's finished like drawing my blood and i i go pale in the face because i'm I, like i can't do blood i can't do needles she's like what's your what's up and I'm, what do you think what's up i told you about what's all up but uh, i don't want to see it so then she made me sit with my head in between my legs for like three minutes and she was like do you feel better and i was like no i i just want to leave and i hate you i've uh, i've gotten my blood drawn a lot and uh um, i don't do it they did it yesterday to my son, dude, and then lady missed a vein three times. Oh, yeah, no, that no. sucks. To a two-year-old kid, bro. Get I've got, I've got some good Get veins, I've been told. So okay. I don't know. Good you know. veinage? Yeah, you, good vein. You got meaty veins, bro. Thank you. The first time I ever got my blood drawn, I had to bring a friend with me because I knew I wasn't going to go. I knew I wouldn't Yeah, and, and they try to get you with like, hey, we got movie tickets for you. I'm like, I hate movies. Oh, no. that But but like the blood bus, the blank, the 
Blood bank bus. I'm the good. blood bus. Love good. I bus. The first time I had, there was a phlebotomist there, and I was like, hey, girl, I really don't want to do this. I was like, I will throw myself down the stairs, and you can just take the blood that comes That comes out? Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, you know, we can't do that. And I was so, The blood from the nose yeah, doesn't work as I was well. Like, I was like, literally push me down the stairs, punch me in the face, like whatever you have to do other than sticking a needle in my arm. And she was like, haha, you're so funny. I, said, I don't. You're like, no, I'm not joking. Well, joking about all that and they said that I was the most difficult person they've ever worked with. Wow. But wow. that I was nice. I find you very easy to work with. I yeah, find you very easy to work with. You, you bring needles and blood on, I am not. They were like, well, okay, well you then, are I'm going to put this difficult. needle away right now, actually. <laughs> well, well, I thought I had a needle here. No, oh, They were bad. very kind. They were very friendly. I apologized to them profusely after. During, I was unpleasant. I was like, I hate you. I oh, hate you. Very yeah. strong. Very hate is a her at that moment. Uh-huh. Taking back, taking back Sunday. Oh, okay. I don't listen to that music. You like taking back Sunday. I don't know what that is. I don't you're, like it. For sure, you know. You I don't know, know what that is. You're, you're, you know, taking back Sunday. Do I? I don't know. See, nobody knows what that What's means. What's happening? Nobody knows what that is. I don't like taking that. Taking back Sunday. No one knows a band taking back Sunday. I don't listen to. I don't listen to that. Like you. I don't listen to that kind Your of music. Your wife loves Taking Back Sunday because sure, she I don't likes listen. All American Rejects. Too. I don't listen to that kind of music. Rejects is great. They're in that same category of type of band. Sorry. Is that true? Yes, it's true, bro. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Look, the chat's... Well, All right. they have a lot of listens. 2.9 monthly listeners. Okay. Huh. All right. Anyways. Huge. Lucy, what we're going to do is we're going to bring other guests oh, around, okay. but we're going to do a prediction. Oh, so good. you I'm know so nothing. Well you know yeah. nothing about the main event tonight. Yeah, yeah. Sean O'Malley. Names. I've heard of him. Okay. Got yeah, the, the pink uh, hair. Pink right? hair, yeah. yeah. Pink yeah. blue hair. Yeah, that's not helping, but I have heard the name. Okay. Sean O'Malley and then Cheeto Vera. Not heard the name. Not heard if the we name. put up a who that is, you wouldn't have gotten it, but that's okay. But I like the name. Okay. So what we're going to do is this. O'Malley or Vera? Is it first name Cheeto? Cheeto. Like the chip? Like it's C-H-I-T-O. Yeah. Uh, like dang. Cheeto. Man, if it were the chip, I probably would have. You probably would have gone with him? You know what? Screw it. I believe in you, Cheeto. Wow. I do. And I'm... He's a dog right now, plus 260. I'm Great. putting money on Cheeto right now for, and win by knockout. Because, let me tell you, I love an underdog story, and I've heard of Sean O'Malley. Mm-hmm. But I've never heard of Cheeto, and that's wrong, because Cheeto deserves the praise, because I know that he's been Star punching, power, yeah. And he's been kicking, mm-hmm. and he's been fighting. That's right. And he's that been, is the best line. I know that my boy's been punching and kicking he has. a lot. He's, he's he has been. been punching so much. And not getting the respect. That he guess, needs. I'm guessing he's been in the gym. Yeah. I'm yeah. guessing he's been practicing. Great camp. Uh huh. He's been working out. Yeah. He's been working with other dudes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Fighting, Give me, sparring. Give me Cheeto. Okay. Yeah, wow. Man. Give me Cheeto. All right. Lucy Rodine, everybody, thank you so much, Lucy, for coming out. <laughs> for the record, the Lucy Rodine, the, the only one that we know. The Lucy Rodine, the one and only. All right, let me I get out of the way. I think there's one other one, but I don't know. If she I is. don't think so. One other. I looked her up online. Okay. Uh, uh, she sucks. She's very private. Let's let's good for her. <laughs> Good Lucy, if you can bring Juju Gotti to the stage, I'm gonna get out. Yeah, Juju, bring me Juju. Bring, bring Juju Gotti bring to the stage. Bring in the building Juju right Gotti. now. All right, let me get out of your way. Lucy, thank you so much. We appreciate you. We love you. You're an incredible coworker. I don't know if she can even hear this, but I know you guys can hear it. Uh, we are live right now in the Cuervo Corner at Grails in Winwood, UFC 299 in the city at the crib. UFC 299 in the backyard. In the backyard, MMA hangout presented by Cuervo. Tradicional. Sorry, if, if I sit over there, I'm, too, I'm too far off. Not it, 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 you know. Cristalino in the building. Um, yeah, I'm kind of like spinning right now because I'm trying to figure out some technical stuff. Uh, figure it out. I, I can, I can, I can filibuster while filibuster. you. Filibuster. Yeah, I can filibuster. We've got hopefully Juju Gotti walking up here in a second once he, once Can't he comes see anybody. in. Shout out, wait, let's just, I know we did it four times. We're going to do it a fifth time, maybe a sixth time. Shout out to our guys at Corvo. Shout out to DraftKings. Thank you for putting this on. I did see a liver shot in one of the replays. So, as the game says, Corvo. Mm. Of course, smooth. everybody, drink responsibly, it drink with friends. It goes super smooth. It does go really smooth. Mm, come on. It's yeah. Corvo. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we talking about? What are we doing? Uh, uh, come on. Are we I'm going to slide this guy back in. Uh, but, yeah, dude, that was that was cool, man. Lucy coming through. Mm-hmm. Giving Kenny us a, Florian Kenny doing Florian his thing. Was, hey, by the way, Kenny Kenny's Florian. Excellent. Yeah, he's a super nice guy. Uh, you know, obviously he was like, one of the first time I interviewed, like looked at me and he was like, hey, what do you got? And I yeah. was like. And then you said something and he was like, great point. 
Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> You're like yeah, dude. Which is, by the way, the second time someone has told had a great point. Who else said he had a John great John Anik. Remember yeah. the first interview that we had? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he was like, man, you guys ask great questions. And I'm like, yeah. oh, who would have thought, dude? How do you like who that? Who would have thought the two Cuban guys know how to ask a couple of questions about UFC? Look, man, my phone is blowing up because of Robelli de Pagni. Yeah, you have been blowing up. My phone, my phone is going crazy. People are texting me about Rovelli. It's like it's like if I won. We did. But I've been, but I've been, you know. We did. Win. I've been touting my boy, bro. I knew what the deal was. We did. Guano, the big boy. We did win, and I'm trying to see what the next fight is here. We just had the uh, Kutevala versus. I didn't want to say fight. it because I was. I, I'm, uh, he's from Moldova, and I'm gonna for sure butcher it. Butcher it. Oh, we've got Pedro Munoz versus Kyle Phillips. Okay, here we go. Um, coming up soon here in the prelims. Uh, we got about 30 minutes left on the stream. This is the preview. Usually we're on for, you know, the main situation. I actually think we have two more fights. And then we're gone. Right? Because all the prelim fights. Main Man. card starts at 10. So we got... Well, we got 10 to chill, vibe, and... An get, hour and a half. Get, get to the spot. Yeah. Um, anyways, I did I did want to take a moment to thank all the fans, dude. Everyone who comes and, like, who comes. Oh, thoughts. That's crazy. Watches the MMA hangout. I'm gonna give it to Tony in a second here, but just wanted to give you guys a special shout out and a special thank you for me. And, and usually Tony. we talk to the chat way more. The problem is the chat is so far away that I can't see anything. You can't see anything. We're both trying to do a show here, presented by Cuervo, and we can't. We can't see it, which so. is fine. But it's a good, uh, big shout out. I saw some of the, the regular names there. Let me give us get, go through the chat right now. Scan through the Let's chat get a little some bit. Scans here. And see, give us give us some names, dude. Give me some Te names. Tequila and gas. Come on. Uh, Cloud Fleet maybe Creation. Maybe no gas. Now that I realize what you're saying. Cloud Fleet Creation, the boy. Uh, we saw Brusco. Brusco's out here. Brusco in the gang. chat. Stand shout up. out. Shout out shout to Brusco. Shout out to Duck Gang. Uh, who was? Goose Gang. Saying Duck Gang. Oh, my God. What a sin. Uh, Come on, man. I saw a duck. He's, there, there, is a, there is a goose emoji you could have used. Yeah. Huh. Uh, stunt, Dan, at, stunt Dan in the building back here, Danny. Stunt Dan in the building. Come Stunt Dan. Bang. Ben means uh, come. Did Juju get lost? Where's Juju? I don't think Juju wanted to slide through. Okay, no biggie. And I think it's because he wanted to get a drink. I don't think it was personal. Okay, cool. No biggie. But we got Stunt Dan coming. But it's, I got to chill, dude. What's happening? It's a Cuervo speaking. Just kidding. Danny, we love you. I love you guys too. Danny, how was the uh, the stunt when, when you rolled uh, in place of Dan? How was that stunt? How did you feel? It's one of my simpler stunts. Yeah, it was, it was one of your simpler stunts. Um, there was one time where we tried to throw you off the roof. Off the roof, light me on fire. Yeah. Jump out of a plane. Desk. I was a table. Well, no, that one happened. Though. That one did happen. Yeah. But there were a few ideas floating where I was a table. I was going to be a chair. Uh -huh. They wanted to light me on fire. Uh -huh. They wanted me to jump off the Clevelander. <laughs> oh, yeah. I keep telling Danny, I'm like, listen, bro. Consider it a blessing that we need you to be the guy who is stunned down. Oh, look at this guy. He's, this guy's a production master. Yeah, like, right, let me just oh, wow, produce okay. myself. I, mean, I, I just can't hear you. Oh. Yeah, I, fi I figured that I was talking loud enough to, to, to say the to you. The only issue is now, Dan is skinnier than me. Huh. So now I I have to get in shape to match to match Dan. Right, right. That's right, a quick yeah. way to get a nice little promotion saying that. Like, oh, my biggest qualm in life is Dan Levitard skinnier than me now. So yeah, yeah. Know, yeah. Yep. Great shirt on Danny, by the way. Thank you. The Cafecito 305. Rep the 305. Is gas, dude. Uh, me and Tony both wear a black button down. It's okay. No big deal. No big deal. You know, that's it what happens. we do. That's what we do around here. It is what it is. Now, here's the real question. Oh, look, oh, look. Who's going to have more buttons open? Uh, no, no, I'll have the same amount of buttons open. Exactly. I feel like I've got one, night, two, who's I've got have three. More? I've got three buttons right now. That's I'm the a, real I'm question. A, I've got three buttons right now. I got two buttons, one, but my, two, like, I'm not, I don't have He's that top one. So, right now, Tony, you're winning. Yeah. Yeah, by, by, by just sheer amount of buttons, be, percentage be, wise? It should be yep. inches between here and like here. Pause. Yeah. But it should be that long. It's true, but right now he has three left. You have four. All right. Well, I can't compete with that. Exhilarating. Because Thank you, Danny. Danny, we love you. Love you all. Have a blast. We will. And we are. Cuervo Corner. So. Cynthia is looking at me. Cynthia is the queen of everything that we do. She kind of tells us what to do, what to say, when to say it. So but let's one thing that she didn't need to tell us is, for the nineteenth time, shout out to Corvo. Yeah, Love we. That. I, I wanted to. I wanted to get to some of the previewing stuff because obviously we're previewing the main card. Yeah. Right. Let's we're not going to be live in. during the main card as let's usual, so we're going to be previewing a little bit of it. The Piotr Jan versus Song Yudong fight. Yeah, let's go fight by fight here. Let's go fight by fight really quick because we're. Let me get my notes. We've got about twenty some odd minutes left. Yeah. 
before we uh, before we send it all back to the uh, to the main studio in preparation for the Oscar party tomorrow, and we'll be oh, which by yeah, we're work. Uh, we'll be there tomorrow. Osco, 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 chill, dude. So right. I think Piotr Jan derailed his entire career with that illegal knee to Al- to Aljamain Sterling. We put that in the bucket. His last couple of fights I don't think haven't been take, great. Take it out the bucket because... I mean, no, it, it is what it is. Like, it happens. Had, There's nothing a, that we can do. You had a line in your house when we were coming over here where you said that changed the course of UFC history. Yes, it absolutely changed the course of US, UFC history because I don't believe if that illegal knee happens, Aljamain Sterling becomes champion, defends his belt against Piotr Jan, looks great at doing it, and then eventually leads to... Sean O'Malley being in this position tonight, correct? Where he's defending his belt against Piotr Jan, uh, against Aljamain Sterling, where he won the belt event, you know, in in Boston. Shout and out now, to Ray Lungo, right? And now, even though he lost that fight, I know, but shout out to Ray Lungo, he tried his best. We wouldn't have had a scenario where Aljamain Sterling has the belt, Sean O'Malley beats him in Boston, and then defends the belt here in Miami against Piotr Jan, or against uh, Cheeto Vera. So the only reason why Cheeto got a look was because he's. The sorry, only, we're getting the, the, sorry, that was a signal from Cynthia. <laughs> Juju is ready. But we'll take him on in a second. We'll take him on. Yeah, well, you know what? F it. Bring him on right now. Bring we him need, on up we here, need bro. Juju Gotti. Come, slide, slide, slide. Juju Gotti in the building. Bring oh, him over. He can't come out because that guy was Oh, that guy's in the way. Let me get him. Yeah, get that tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sitting get, on my yeah, lap yeah, here, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, but it's, it's better to have me in your lap than Juju in your lap. Trust me. I weigh not as much. There he is, the boy. Yes, sir. You can slide in more, brother. Bam, bam. You locked in. We're there a little we go. tight back here, but it's all good, dude. Shout out to Grails here in Miami. Uh, when would to be exact? Juju Gotti in the building. Yes, What's sir, teams. up? There's your microphone. Yes, the sir. boy is. Well, we got Wonder Boy over here looking lame as hell. <laughs> Salute to Wonder Boy. What kind of pants he got on? Wonder Boy, come over here, kicking it, kick somebody. <laughs> Wonder boy Boy's in a full suit. Yeah, he, is, he Bro, does Wonder kick. Wonder Boy would kick the hell out. Where's the camera at? Right here. Wonder Boy would kick your ass, <laughs> but he got the weakest pants in the world on. Right I don't here. even see him. What, what's he got on? No, nah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know the size of my I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to see what's going on. Juju Gotti. In Miami. Come on, man. Gotta, Jesus, gotta bring out the come silk. On, gotta bring out the silk with him. Come on. Bro, congratulations Shut. on Jose Cuervo. Come on, come on. Cuervo in the building. Cuervo in the building. Thank you, The dude. Cuervo Thank corner you. right here. That's what we do around here in the MMA Hangout. Brought to you by Cuervo. It is. So. Uh, that, yes, sir. Sean O'Malley. <laughs> Cheeto Vera. Talk to me. You already know who I'm going with. I love you, Cheeto. Cheeto. Big, big salute to Cheeto. Yeah. yeah. I love the tattoo. You got the tarantula on the back of your shit. Salute. I'm ride with big old sugar Sean. Yeah, right? man. But bro, he got the look in his eye, bro. He got the composure. He done got so many um, wins on his resume that I didn't think he was gonna get mm-hmm. going in anyway. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm, I'm betting on my boy tonight. And when you get the belt too, like that kind of takes you to another level. Yeah. You got to Once you get that strap, like training, uh-huh. eating, dieting, uh-huh. everything is on point right now. The money's on point. Punching, kicking, <laughs> yeah. all important. Right, yeah, like. Man. Whip game, proper. Come on. He, he's always been straight, though. Yeah. Sean is always in something crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah, when you look across this card, what's another fight you're looking at being like, damn, is it right. Dustin? Salute to Dustin, but I'm all the way around with Kev. Big yeah, Kev Big Kev the Trailblazer. Yeah, Kev yeah. by my favorite fighter. Yeah. So I'm all the way around the boy. with Kev, dog. I hope he knock his ass out, dog. Kevin Hollis, salute, brother. We love you. Him we, and Jamal. Uh, him and Jamal here. Jamal, you're, yeah. yeah Jamal's headlining 300. That's right. Yeah, Talk to him. That's Come your boy. On, man. Look, look. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hey. Yeah, salute, man. I, I'm looking forward to Kev, though, tonight. For sure. Against Michael Venom Page. So if, if you don't know, Michael Venom Page came over from Bellator. MVP. MVP. Yeah. Crazy kickboxer. Crazy. Throwing crazy kicks. All different angles. Very awkward style fighter. But Kev is just... Kev's like the uncle in the barbecue that's like right. ready to throw hands. Unorthodox. He might hit you with one of these. <laughs> <laughs> the top of the head. Yeah. <laughs> the boink. The boink. Remember when Kev was at the bottom? Uh, pause. He was at the bottom getting work. <laughs> 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 and then he told the big brother, he 
knock Buddy out from the bottom. Right. That was one of the best knockouts in UFC history. He's though. cold. And yeah, he's cold was, he was like considered out of that fight at mm -hmm. that moment. Mm -hmm. Knocked his ass out, bro. I'm out here rooting for Kale. Come on, man. The building is crazy. We passed by today. Yeah. We were getting our credentials for the yeah. uh, for the fight. Yes, sir. Ecuador was in the building. We must have seen 5,000 5, Ecuadorians. We got the jerseys. We got the flags. <laughs> Cheeto's going to be well represented tonight. Yes, it's crazy because Cheeto is such a good fighter. And I think a fan favorite, too, yeah, where you look at his story. Yeah. You look at the way that he's grown up in the sport, supporting his family, supporting his country, doing all these things. And then the only loss for O'Malley is Cheeto. And it's like, right. like, what? Like, I'm just so excited because Damn. the storyline for these fights are crazy. Right. Is Dust? Is it over for Dustin? Can Cheeto beat O'Malley again to win the title? His the first title, time to win bro. the belt. Like, bro. and then the, the whole like, I, I love all the, com the comedians out of New York. New York comedians, uh, Big J. Oakerson, yeah, uh, the, the Rattlesnake Lewis, and them. They, they all ride with, uh, even Shane. Yeah. Uh, they, they ride with Cheeto. Cheeto's yeah. Action Bronson, him and Cheeto are boys. Bruh, the world ride with Cheeto. So yeah. Don't, don't think that. Like, the whole world ride with the dog. Lucy just, rides with Cheeto, too. Yeah. You feel me? I'm just ride with Sugar Sean because you know where the money's at. Love, yeah, yeah, yeah. He does show us he love. That's true. Love, bro, so we, we ride with him, That's man. true. That's speaking true. About, speaking about show, showing us love, Sean O'Malley's interview somewhere in our YouTube search. It. Twice. Yeah, we, we talked to him twice. We talked to him once. Me and Juju did, and then one time. Uh, preparing for this fight for two ninety nine. Correct. I talked to Sugar, but bro, I want to look. Let's take this time out right now. Salute my dog, bro. You, you too, Louis, bro. You know how much metal art media get into about this UFC shit. Like, you know how damn. Yeah. You know I mean? We all have feelings, bro. And for y'all to still ride through the rise through the phoenix and the ashes, bro. I'm so proud of y'all. Thank you, man. Cuervo, so Cuervo on the building. So we appreciate that, bro. For real, friends, for real, for real. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah, brother. We love that, bro. Absolutely, I mean, you you were part of this journey too, bro. Like. Bro, I support I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. You. I'm saying yeah, er yeah. early on, you were part of the journey. You were like part of the OG crew yeah. that really took this to what it is today. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why you're always welcoming. This is family right here. You feel me? We all win. We all win. Exactly yeah. right. So exactly that's, right. That's how we gotta move, baby. I'm so proud of y'all, boy. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Come on. Come on now. It's that Cuervo money. You know how we do. Come on. Hey, I just saw a liver shot. Liver shot means I gotta take a little sip of the Cuervo. Sponsored by the haters. Cuervo and the Sponsored building, by baby. Cuervo. Cuervo. We love that. Salute the Jose. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. That's him. That's, that's him still, right there. Yeah. That's him. That's, that's, that's Did you see that. on social media my boy come out in the Hulk green paint for the weigh-ins? Did you see that? Yeah, man. <laughs> he just lost, brother. by the way. Don't do that shit ever <laughs> He again. just lost. <laughs> <laughs> now your ass got to go home and explain this shit to your girlfriend. <laughs> Be like, you went out in what? Right. Green I, paint. Okay. Uh, he caught me slipping. Bro. And you lost. I really had a cramp first round, <laughs> but I was really just persevering, so... I was That's trying my best. Right. Trying your best doesn't doesn't, doesn't matter. really cut doesn't it. Really right. count. Doesn't really count. Doesn't really count. Doesn't really count. Doesn't really count. Nah, man. All, Speaking of that, did y'all talk about um, uh, uh, Frank Nagano yesterday? Well, Let's talk ahead. about it. Let's talk about it. First off, Begin. first off, before we talk about the actual fight, yeah, they said that that fight was going to start at four. I was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker was on CP time. <laughs> Yo, that shit was on Saudi Arabia time, whatever that is. Because they didn't walk out till like 7.30. My ass was sitting there six hours watching my little iPad because I was watching that and watching Shogun, by the way. Shogun, very good show on FX. Right, yes, sir. Shogun's fire. You see Shogun? Yeah. Shogun's tough. <laughs> Anyways, we'll get to that in a second. But Francis and Anthony Joshua finally walk out. Yeah. 7.30, 7.45 on the East Coast. And then that happens. I mean, you, you you love boxing. You watch boxing. You watch combat sports. You've seen Ngannou be great. You've seen him fight Tyson Fury and almost right, beat him. Right. And then Anthony Joshua, who's, again, world-class level boxer. World incredible class. Olympic boxer. Yeah. But we've seen him be goofy. We've Very seen Anthony goofy. Joshua yeah, be goofy. Yeah. He got knocked out by Ruiz. Right. I can beat him. Matter of <laughs> fact, let me not do that. Just in Ruiz, case reason watch it. I don't we know. You heard it here first on MMA Hangout. Right. We, we love you, Ruiz. I can't beat your ass. But, boy, that motherfucker look like uh, Fat Joe, a little Fat Joe. And he beat Anthony Joshua. Clean them. Right. So, after that, I was like, oh, yeah. A little Fat Joe's Anthony. crazy. It's crazy, dude. <laughs> but you look at Anthony Joshua, you're like, the money's coming in on Joshua. Yeah. Obviously, it was decision was I was betting decision, right? I had Anthony Joshua by decision. I'm like, there's no way he finishes in Ghana. Never. If Tyson couldn't finish in Ghana, after the, what he's done to Tyson, to Deontay Wilder right. and everybody else in his wake, there's no way Anthony Joshua's finishing and got him. Never. 
Never. And then that first round, pow, pow, pow. Leave my boy flat on the canvas for five minutes. Bruh, bruh. Salute. I'm, I'm so glad he got up. You know what I Because mean? I'm always. There was a second where he was like down, and then they got the doctors in. Right. And they're bruh. watching him, and then they pan over, and he's still not up. Bruh, these some big ass individuals. Yeah. Like, them boys, 250, hitting each other as hard as they can. In yeah. Head. You did. Yeah. He took three of them. Three shots. Back to back to back almost, bruh. But I, well, we were talking to Florian, and I was like, bro, I weigh as much as Volkanovski. <laughs> I weigh a little bit more than Volkanovski. Damn, Volkanovski right. would grab you by the back of your pants right here and the front of your shirt right here and I throw you like, through the... I feel like he would, like, <laughs> dig into my spine. Like Jazzy Jeff spine. style. Like, remember the... Yeah, yeah, Uncle, right. Uncle Phil used to grab Jazzy yeah. Jeff and throw him out the... <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. That that's good. That's good. Right. He, he had Our brother, run. yeah. We did, but we, we still hey, but I'll still fight somebody. Come on, man. Yeah, I got my ass whooped, but I'll fight. When you saw Ngannou take that first shot and it wobbled him and he fell to the canvas, you were like, oh, hold up. Wait a second. I was like, whoa. That what's power is different. I, like you said, bro, he stood against Fury. So I'm thinking Joshua was not necessarily as equipped as he Fury was. Yeah, correct. Right. But he done showed me different. Otherwise, maybe that Ruiz knockout. And Woke other, him up a little bit. Right, and the other fights he had done snapped him back in because he also fought another brother. Right. Big, uh, <laughs> goofy looking brother. <laughs> and so he had was that fight. Usyk? Did he fight Usyk? Yeah, 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 yeah. He lost the belt to him or he got the belt some kind of way. But after those fights, I think those got his mind right because he was living the, the pretty boy yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, the, I'm Anthony Joshua. I'm selling up fights, bro. Yeah, right, right, right. fights, you dick. Olympic, about, Olympic medal, in it? Yeah, yeah. in that. Yeah. And then, the boy said, in the hell, hiya from New York City. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, hold so up. I think, think he's been in the gym more now. And so, I'm ready to see his next fight. I think, too, like, Ngannou is like, you know what? I'm a boxer now. Right, right. What? I'm a boxer now. The hell? Right, right. I, you saw me stand up 10 toes with, with Tyson Fury? Right. This is going to be a breeze. Right. And then Joshua <laughs> hit him with that right hand. Yeah. Not my boy in the last year. Yeah. Right. My boy said, where's Dana White? Hold up. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on. We're missing a nice little doozy here. Yeah, we got Munoz and, Ka and Kyler Phillips. Hey, that boy Munoz can take a punch. Yeah. yeah. Hey, he's been getting Hell slapped. Yeah. Every time Munoz fights. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. That, that hit the liver. <laughs> that hit the liver. I have to sit. Yep. Little liver. Lipsky. Of course, we always, always, always always advise that you drink, drink responsibly. Responsibly. That's right. responsibly and with friends dude yeah. with your boys dude you got to know especially if you got the Jose <laughs> watching that Cuervo got that Cuervo, Cuervo going in the building. Oh, Cuervo's in the building hey, and you're watching Cuervo, UFC Cuervo Come on. did like Prince he goes hey just Cuervo now yeah just wow. Cuervo now I like yeah. it yeah no Jose oh, no, no Jose, Jose is not the oh, just Cuervo just baby Cuervo that's now. how we do no 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 that's all good that's family that's love that's love that's love this is holy ground, man. Take them right, shoes off. Right. What you got going on right here? The phone pause. Hey, a phone pause is back? I mean, they back. You know what I mean? They, they never left for real. Come on. The kids thing. always got phone pauses right. on. I see, the, I see the, the, the bag. The phone pause is back. Yeah, I mean, they just cost too much. But that's, that's not the hit nor there. Still the middle art media. Hey. <laughs> Eventually. Um, Man, we are so excited, man. Did you see my boy, the Cuban Cuban fighter, Despaigne? Yeah. Hell 17 yeah. seconds. Right. Quick work. Bro, you take off a second every time. 18. 18 odds. <laughs> 19 seconds, 18 seconds, whatever, baby. It was 21 at first, but then... Less Come on, it kept going. The, the fish was this big last hey, time four, I caught it, but four, it kept getting... Four, <laughs> four fights. The last four fights under 40 seconds combined. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Damn, under 40 bro. seconds. My six, seven, two, sixty. Hey, I'm going to say it. I'm just going to say it, dude. And I think people don't know a lot about this because they're not Cuban, not Hispanic. Yeah. But shout out. You're looking at me I'm, funny because... I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, wait, I'm, wait, I'm waiting to see what you're going to say. Get ready for this. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Shout out. Yeah, both of you. Shout we almost took him out the. We almost took him out the screen. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> hey, shout out to my black Cubans, bro. Hey. Yeah, Afro Cubans. Let's go. Hey. Afro Cubans yes, in the sir. building. La familia, Bobby. Always Got doing work. La cultura. Got to know, man. Afro Cubans Always making it happen, baby. Work. We're talking about, and, 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 you know, it, Florian was talking about it. He was like, man, it's crazy on a lot of these combat sports and a lot of sports in general. Yeah. Usually your top countries are America. Yeah. You got Russia. You got China. He goes, bro. Every time we see combat sports. Cuba's like up there. Boxing, Taekwondo, like, wrestling. We gotta fight, dude. We gotta fight, bro. It's just done so right. differently out there. And I was listening to a pod with your Romero. Called communism. It's called communism. And they say, yo, you're gonna fight because our country's gonna be proud of something. Yeah, because, exactly. Because, look, I've been down before. When I was young, we used these. Exactly. Used these. Exactly <laughs> right. Put it down. <laughs> Come on. See me outside. Put it down, Craig. <laughs> so, Joel Romero, they took him from his school, from his regular school, and they're like, you know what? You're going to be a wrestler now. 
and they take him to a school that all they do is wrestle. And he wrestled for that 20 like years. Cuba, bro. That for 20 like years, my boy didn't do anything but wrestle. And then right. they took his ass to the Olympics, fought in the Olympics. Think about this for a second. Think about someone who doesn't like that. Hey, you're fighting now. And what do you mean? Yeah, like, nah, I'm no, good, no, 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 actually. No. I want to write poetry. We, I, nah, I'm, I'm get your big ass in the ring. Get your big, <laughs> yeah, get your big ass in the ring and get really mad about something. Right. You get knocked out by three or four times. They'll get off your back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah but our boy, our boy hasn't been knocked out That's or true. lost. But Yoel, you always saying in Cuba, when you're the, the apex wrestler, yeah. when you're that dude in the house, yeah, yeah. they serve you lobster. You're eating steak. You're eating right. In Cuba? Yeah. In Cuba. Yeah. Well, because sorry. the government's like, yo. You know why? Because there's we'll seven take care lobsters of in all of Cuba, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And three of them are the, for the fighters. For, hey. the, for the... for the <laughs> That government cheese turned into government steak. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That government tomahawk <laughs> real quick. Hold up. Exactly. Exactly. Speaking about tomahawks, no no correlation, but hey, shout out to the 5.6 thousand viewers hey. live with us right now. Come on, what? Setting a record. Yeah, that's right, bro. You heard that number right. 5.6 thousand live right now. Hey, that's now. how we do it. Con concurrent. That's how we do it. That's, that's how we do it. We love you guys. Shout out to Corvo. Shout out We're to in Corvo, Corvo in the building. Corvo Corner, in baby, in the your building. Corner, dude. Always drink responsibly. Drink with friends, dude. Go yeah, get guess what? Talk to me. I'm in y'all corner. Come on now. We've been on that. Come on now. 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 But you know what, dude? Normalize. Loving your dogs, bro. Yeah. You Normalize yeah. that. Because, you know, listen, the three of us, and I know some of the other people too, we make it a good, we make a, a, an effort to always encourage each other. I had, a, I called my boy this morning and I was like, yo, I got to just get aligned with you with our hearts. Yeah. And it did. And we worked out, dude. Yeah. And the same thing happened with me and Juju the other day. Yeah. I know you guys do that all the time. Normalize telling your bros, yo, I love you, dude. We're out here. We support you. Yeah, we work. Not we every, work. Not everything's we about what can I get out of X Y Z. Every right. eight, like we just trying to see people win, dude. And honestly, we're just humbled and blessed that that yeah, Corvo absolutely. will come along in our corner. Yes, sir. Uh, pause real quick, but no pause. Continue. And and the and the the production staff really make this happen, bro. They right. make the, shout out to John, John Reed, Reed right there. John Reed, bro. Cynthia. Cynthia. Yeah. Cynthia. Yeah. So the yeah. Mike uh, Fuentes just because. Mike Fuentes shows up. Danny B. Bring Mike Fuentes out here. Come, bring Mike. Bring Mike Fuentes. He gives me the smile. Bring Mike Fuentes out here. It's a family, bro. I don't know if you can get in that. Way. Can you get in that way? We love you, bro. No, you can go. You can go that yeah, way. Yeah, Mike Puente is in the building. In the building, John, MF. On, Let's go. We don't call him. Hey, not hey, not MF Doom. MF Joy. Yeah, MF Joy. Come on, we got man. Jr. the kid in the JR building. The kid, Come on, man, sir, with that country, yes, with pop, that. Pop, pop, pop. Love y'all, man. Love you more, brother. Thank you, Quirk. Yes, sir. Thank you, bro. We appreciate you. We got Rose you. behind the camera. Yeah, there. Rose got the fire jacket on. Yeah, right? yeah always looking good. The prime always executive. Good. Yeah, Bill, prime man. executive throwing up the. She's got the. You are my elite employee. <laughs> <Boy. laughs> <laughs> hey, we love you. Yeah, Rose. You are my elite employee. <laughs> Yo, yeah, she's man, crazy. Like my dad was saying, man, normalize telling your friends, your, your yeah. gangster friends, your hard friends, your yeah. okay friends. Yeah. Normalize telling them folks you love them, you care about them, man. Yeah. Check on them folks, man. And we've been doing that shit since day one, dog. Yeah. And that's why we so tight, dog. I it's think true. I'll, I'll say this. It's one tough. of one of the first times, I think the first time I met Juju, me, him, and Tony had a heart to heart in Ju in, in, in my Dan garage. garage. In yeah. my garage, yeah. Yeah, in his, and his garage. garage. And my, my girl, the funny story about that, my girl's my girl's heated. So in that garage, you don't get any reception. The thing <laughs> is, we were down there. That. We were down there for an hour and a half. We were down there for an hour and a half. It was like two in the morning. And it was like two in the morning. Um, so we get down, and my girl's calling, 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 calling Lewis. She's like, "Where is this guy?" Because I guess where the garage was, we had we have a canal close to the apartment. So she saw my shit in the canal. <laughs> so she's calling, 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 bro. I finally get up. I'm like, what's up, baby? She's like, where have you been? What's up? And she's like, what's up, baby? Where have you what's been? Up, I've been calling you. And I'm like, damn, I was in the garage. She's like, no, you weren't. You were in, in the, the canal. I was talking to my friends. She's like, okay. Yeah. She's like, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh, sure. And let me guess. You guys were encouraging each other? Yeah, get out of here. We're like, nah. We were just you know, looking out for each other, man, because it's hard out here sometimes. Bro. Salute to Jenny, my hard sister. Out here for we a love you, sis. Yeah. yeah. Come yes. on, baby. Yes. We love you. She's watching right now, probably one of the... However many. One of the ages went up. Million, yeah. One of the 400,000 billion. Yeah, we love it. We love it. We love it. <laughs> All right, guys. Four minutes left on this stream. Grails in Wynwood. Yeah, dude. Great place to come watch yes, fights. Sir. Pretty Thank lit. You, Get some Cuervo. We might have to come back here and do it another time. Right. We might just kick it. Just because, man. Yeah. This is a lovely uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. establishment, bro. This shit, bye. Juju, Juju, a uh, quick shout out to you. Uh, Wake and Take coming back. 
Not coming back, but doing way. his thing, becoming more so, consistent. In a big uh, way. Just, you know, you know, next time it's coming up, go watch Wake and Take with the boy. You dig it? Uh, hey, let's go. One of the plugs that we got. Let's go really look, quick. Saturday talking, Night talking. Live coming back. Yeah, Sunday Night Live. Look, Sunday Night Live started yeah. as a football situation. Uh -huh. But, bro, it's a lot to talk about. But we got mm -hmm. NBA. Mm -hmm. We got Love is Blind. We mm -hmm. got a lot of this buffoonery that be happening. The streets, the streets need about. it. So stay, so stay tuned, brother. We got, we coming back. A lot of good stuff. Let's run through the card real quick. Yeah, main let's card. Get, I'm gonna let's get winners. Juju and for myself here on the right Let's side get winners. Here. Main card real quick. Uh, let's go bo top to bottom. Uh, bottom to top. Excuse me. We got Jan and Sadat and Yadong. Yeah, we. <laughs> Yadong. No, you wait, wait. Me? Excuse me. Yadong. Piotr Jan versus Son Yadong. Who you got? I said that right. Who you got? I'm, I'm taking pewter cheating there. Kicking okay. my, my dog ass. I'm kneeing him in the head a couple times. On the, on the ground. That was right, dirty. Right. I'm going pewter. Listen, man. Uh, China's been doing some work. I'm going to give it to China real quick. I'm wow. Son Yudan. Okay. Yeah. I, I, and the parlay, I got this fight going the distance. I think Piotr Young wins. Yeah, I think decision. You have decision. I got I got the okay. boys going to the distance. So we we'll got a, another interesting card fight here. Card fight, not a word. There we go. Not a phrase. There we go. Gilbert Burns versus Jack Della. Madalena. Bam. JDM. Right, Gilbert, Who Gilbert, you got? The Afro. He be looking like what's his Bruno name? Bruno Mars. Don't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe me. Just watch tonight. Um, ooh, I love Gilbert, but I'm, I I'm going with Gilbert. I'm going. With yeah, you gonna go with Gil? Gil. With Gil. Okay. I feel like Gil. Representing Florida. Yeah, right. representing Miami. Brasileiro. Right. El Fala Portuguese and Pukinho. Wow. I got my boy Talk to him. tonight. Wow. Am I the when. only one? I don't know when. Okay. But I, I think Burns is kind of outlast him. I think, I, I think I'm going to go JDM here. I got him in my parlay. Yeah. I'm going to go JDM uh, by decision. Mm. Okay. Go JDM by decision I've here. I've got no Great units boxer. on this, so I'm down to fluctuate and to support the boys. We like to align on our parlays. Yeah. Yes, sir. Next fight coming up. Listen, bro. Unk. Yeah. Versus yeah. MVP. Yeah. I'm going to be respectful to Unk. Yeah. I love Unk. We salute the Unk. Not the Unk, but Unk himself. But Michael Page, man, MVP's. Right. He's just ha ha. Them he's, hips. He's, he's, them hips swing. The bruv. Yeah, the bruv. Yeah. And I feel, the like, bruv. I feel like Kevin Holland is kind of at his point in his life where he was like, I think I got a post career, post fight career, uh, career I got a post fighting career coming up. Charisma. I'm not saying I want my boys wash because he's absolutely not. He will still mess a lot of people you know up. But I'm going to take Michael MVP here in this fight. Wow, you're taking Paige. Yeah. I'm taking Paige in this fight. Wow. Yeah. Drew, I already I'm know you're going Kev. Kev. I'm going yeah. Kev. Yeah. I'm going Kev too. Okay. I'm going Kev too. <laughs> All right, this is where it gets, uh, it gets a little interesting here. We got Poirier and S. B S S oh, B S D. Damn, I got Saint Benoit Denis. Saint Denis. Yeah, yeah, I got scared. That's Dustin. what it was there. I'm I got scared. Dustin. I'm going with You're Dustin. You're going with Dustin. Okay. I saw four guys in a in a French beret. <laughs> I'm going with the Frenchman himself. Wow, Benoit Saint Denis. I'm gonna go Denis too. I got All him. Right, I got him. Of course, the me. main card. The main event, baby. We're here. Yes, sir. Sugar Sean O'Malley versus Cheeto Vera. Go ahead, Juju. What do you got? I'm going Sugar Sean all the way, baby. I'm going you Sean by decision. I'm getting that at a nice plus 120. I think it goes the distance. I think Cheeto and Sean duke it out, but I don't think there's a finish. Listen, man. I'm a father of three. Cheeto Vera is my guy. Wow, okay. I saw the video of him coming from Ecuador when he first came and fought. He's him saying, crying into a camera, I'm doing this for my daughter's surgery. I'm just doing this so I, I can just pay a surgery, Crazy. go back to my life, and continue to live. <laughs> And then he ended up whooping someone's ass. Crazy. And then 15 years later, here we are. Yeah. Still whooping people's ass. Hey, for, the yeah, record, yeah, for the record, the only person to push Sean O'Malley on notice, I'm taking my boy Cheeto Vera in this All fight. All right. Yes, okay. Uh, That's man, with, I mean, Munoz and Phillips right now in the prelim card. Munoz, Phillips has been bleeding. Actually, no, it's Munoz that's bleeding right now the whole time. Uh, but a horrible transition into the prelim cards. Guys, thank you so much, Tony. I'll let you wrap us up. Thank you. Shout out to Juju Gotti. Shout out to Lewis. Shout out to John Reed. Shout out to Mike. Shout out to Danny. Shout out to... Lucy, shout out to Rose, shout out to Cynthia, who's done so much for us. We love you so much. We appreciate Cynthia, you. Cynthia's just been like, she is, she's mom. We're you know showing, I mean? we're showing her In love. We're showing her love right now. Shout she can't hear us actually. Yes, shout sir. out to Kenny Florian from the Anakin Florian podcast, the boy. He was awesome. Go back and watch that once we're done here. Uh, me and you are heading over to the uh, to the, the fight. fight. We're gonna yeah, go we're watch, gonna watch the, the fight, fight right now. Yes, the rest sir. of the team is gonna just kick it here in Winwood. Uh, we appreciate everybody who is not only showing up here at Grails. But also everybody uh, online, we love you guys. We appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. We appreciate Cuervo, Cuervo, for showing us love. Thank you guys so much. We are doing you proud throughout I the. Hope, uh, I hope we're doing you proud. No, Listen. we are. We are. We are. We're doing. We're doing Cuervo proud. We love you. Get out some, 
tradicional, cristalino, this was fire, reposado. This was absolute oh, I take this to the crib, taking it home with can me. Can I take that one? Yeah, you can take that one. Right, Unless Juju wants that one. You want uh, that one? Oh, oh, he's got the Cuervo on the on, on the rocks, baby. On right, the rocks. Thank you guys. This is MMA Hangout sponsored by Cuervo and DraftKings. We love We're you guys. We're out of here. We love you. Juju, press that red button right there on the screen. Hey. Hold up. Up top, up top, oh, in the corner. Bye, bye, bye. End stream. Oh. Oh, it defined. One more. Hold up. One more. It defined end. One more. Hold one up. One more. One more. And hit the red one. We love you guys.